Hello, Nathaniels. <laughs> How is everybody? Do you miss me? <laughs> uh, my goodness. This is working, right? Right? There it goes. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Hope oh, you're ready. This is being scuff already today. Let's <laughs> go. So... Uh, hey, wait a minute. No. Actually, Nani? it's it's not though. It's not. Feature is no, not no, your no. top viewer. No, feature is my top viewer, but. The um, because I said I, I was like I was sure that like all my I was just, I was just like features ten bot are like my all my female viewers, but I'm like actually, I've only got like five male viewers. Yeah, I, re I remember you saying something about that a couple months ago. Yeah, I, I sort of wrote it off afterwards about uh, as just feature bots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I think Feature's live right now, actually. Yeah, I think she's with a EPI. Yeah, they were playing a spooky game of some sort. Kami's uh, disappeared. Teach has disappeared now. I give up. Wow. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. I can see everyone. <laughs> I could, and then... <laughs> It it just everybody went away and and on, only only Leon and Frey have returned. Hello there. <laughs> oh. Have you tried turning it off and turning back on again? Yeah, that's what broke it in the first place. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a noob. Oh wow. Well. Delay in my voice. I think it's Tailspire. I'll f I'll fix it later. Have you, have you tried just plugging it out and then just plugging it back in? Yeah, just unplug your computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a startup would take way too long if I did that. Relatable. Relatable. If you delete the center, you know, the central processing unit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Have you tried, have you tried um, unclipping the RAM and then blowing on it to make sure there's no dust? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, have, I haven't checked to see if there's any cookies inside my case. <laughs> yeah, maybe, the, maybe the cookies have gone stale. <laughs> oh. I used to call caches quiches as well. That's... Actually, is quiche just an Irish thing, or is it an everywhere thing? Oh, no, I know what a quiche yeah. is. Oh, okay, so I've made one before. Cool. I thought they were, like, German. Oh, okay, even better. I, I don't know them for sure. I that, like, no one had. I was trying to, I'm trying to think of it. It was like, there was, there was this one food that was just apparently just Irish. Oh! Well, no, it's not, it, it wasn't just Irish, it was just not in England. They don't have jam bonds in England. What's a jam bond? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, I don't know what that is. Either? So. Mm -mm. Wait, 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 wait. Unless it's of another name, perhaps. Jam bond. Uh, let me see. So they're like, they're like, yo, they're an Irish thing. So basically, it's like cheese and like bacon bits inside Ooh. of pastry that kind of like folds in on itself. So it looks like a little flour. Mm -hmm. But it's like, so yeah. So picture, um, do you know those? Hi, you Zero. Know those, uh, Thank you, you for the sub, resub. You How are you doing? And you've got like the little cut, and then you put the butter inside. And instead of a hopefully butter, uh, audio and everything's good. Pastry, and inside is filled with cheese and bacon bits. I'm having some major scuff I mean, with the uh, stream elements you tonight. Things that sound like that, but I've never heard that term. Thanks, pastry. I appreciate it. You have Maybe a good night. Because obviously, a lot of Irish people went to. Went to America, so it sounds America. delicious. It is. Personally, I like a good cheese and sausage inside pastry. Mm. Sausage inside pastry. Is that like taking a blank? Oh, bacon? 
Um, well, I appreciate you coming in to say hi, Zero. I hope you're having fun. It, it would probably be... Well, I mean, it depends on how you make it. Because, um... Uh... Oh, what's the term for it? Uh... I mean, some are like pizza, except as a wrap. Um... Because that's the thing. Uh... And there's others, too. Oh, I forget exactly what the term is for those. Um, but there's a lot of things that count like that. Um, I mean, Gosh, I really stromboli is kind of like that. Because apparently you, your guys, like, everything is expensive in America except for cheese, except for food, apparently. Uh, well, that depends on what you get. If okay. you get, you know, crappy processed foods, um... Those are usually fairly cheap. Yeah, like um, fast food. I only eat fast food. It's the only way I can keep my body fat above 7%. Sag. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, stuff that's good for you is expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah, that like organic, quote unquote. No, like just even vegetables, regular fruits oh, really? and vegetables are, are more expensive than say you go out. You could buy a cheeseburger for like. Like, um, like how much would a head of lettuce be? Um, like last time I went, it was about like three bucks. Yeah, so like the four, I mean, what? three. Well, that would be like what three fifty or four dollars in euro, right? Something like that. No, yeah. euros are. Well, it would be around. It would be around. That's around two fifty euros. If it's oh. three bucks, yeah, it's two yeah, two fifty. But we get those for like thirty fifty cent. Oh my god! <laughs> and here's the kicker. Um, I actually <gasps> live in a farming area. I can go <laughs> and talk to, um, like, a lot of the farms I mean, are the farms at least getting money provide... for I mean, I have no idea what they make, but some of them sell on the side, and they sort of undercut the market a little. Lad, um, holy but crap. Not much. Imagine paying but not much. Imagine paying $2.50 for a head of lettuce. Um, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's not um, just it, lettuce, though. It's everything. Yeah, it's ev oh, everything. Yeah. What about a cucumber? So we get cucumber like in little for like twelve cents. Oh, wouldn't we? Uh, yeah. Like a do like a, a dollar or two dollars for t for a pack of two of them, at the grocery that's store dollar. here. Dollar. Yeah, that's still like. It's, I mean, that's still substantially more expensive. That's stupid. Man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I happen to have a small garden, so. I yeah, actually is that make, why gardening so big like, in, cucumbers? in yeah, is that why gardening such a big thing in in like America? Like I see a load of I people mean, like big it depends. Garden. It depends. Um, it's convenient. Um, though I don't get a lot. I don't have a lot of space. Okay. So, um, I well, uh -huh. I could have more space, but unfortunately, um, Yo, I don't think wait, I want to take the time me. for that. Wait, you're telling me so if you wanted if you if you had to, if you didn't have anything in your fridges and you wanted to make a burger and you'd have to go you'd buy you you buy the patty which I'd, I I assume is probably cheaper over there um and but then the lettuce tomatoes the lettuce and tomatoes would set you back how much would a six pack of tomatoes be um it depends it's usually by weight I mean uh... last time I was there. Um, just like a couple of bucks a pound, so. How? Hang on, I'll give you some actual prices. Half a kilo. I mean, half a kilo of tomatoes isn't. That's a lot of tomatoes, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's usually like a lot of tomatoes feels like a lot. Four of to six, depending on how big they oh, are. Man. Four to six for a couple. Uh, yeah, that's literally twice the price. Ma that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Okay. Uh, hmm. And okay, come on. Minutes. Okay. Uh, and then also, Neff, did you manage to get the really? thing working? <laughs> uh, it's it's on. I just gave up on stream elements, so it's I'm on. Good. Pog. <laughs> you. And everybody came back, so everyone's on the screen now, at least. Hello. 
Hello there. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Mm, hello. Okay. Nope. Indy 5P. Let's go. Alright. So, uh, I there? just checked. I just hmm? checked. At my local store, a head of iceberg lettuce is a dollar forty nine. Okay, that's a bit better. But that's a little bit cheaper than it usually is. That's a bit better. That's mm -hmm. a bit better. But you, like you said, you're in a farming area, so. Yeah. But I mean, still, that's still really expensive. Oh. Okay, I think this is why. That's the non-organic oh. iceberg lettuce. Yeah, that's still organic twice the price. Organic iceberg lettuce is three dollars. Ah. Oh. Oh, the pain. Oh my god. Don't ask me what the difference is. They even look uh, identical in the picture. A, a <laughs> lot of time, a lot of time. It's organic. There is actually, it's, it's such a loose term um, that you're going to abuse it pretty easily. Just the term organic. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Many a YouTube YouTube documentary on, on the topic. <laughs> All right, guys. Shall we get started? I am ready. Sure. All right. <clears throat> uh, I guess we are probably due a nice recap. So, <laughs> yeah. But especially since we have a new person with us today. Yay. Awesome. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um. So let me actually. I should probably just have your have your your stuff your streams open in the background so I can see stuff. Anyway. Um. So. Uh. When we last left off. The team found themselves uh, basically on the verge of death uh, at the hands of a very big, uh, very, actually, it wasn't even the monster that was that bad. It was the gas. The gas kind of. Yes. The gas, gas killed us. No poison so, um, <laughs> Unfortunately, the, uh, the party succumbed to elemental or er, environmental damage. Uh, they're mortally wounded, however, um, that is not the end of the story. But before we go and start off where we left off, we might as well go back to the beginning. Just briefly. Dad. I don't want to... <laughs> no, sorry. Um, our story started with a town in peril or peril depending on how you pronounce it the town was being overrun by strange creatures uh undead in appearance but not undead in nature as well as a strange large humanoid beast uh, which ended up with our unlikely band of heroes which consisted at that time of Artend, the dragonborn barbarian, um, Mistrid, the dragonborn sorceress, and Vishara are not a human. Uh, what, remind me of exactly what the race is, because I remember it was a bit obscure. It was the dream thingy, wasn't it? It is Kalashtar. The Kalashtar cleric. And at that time, we also had Tortal, the Tortal Warlock. Uh, after meeting up through various means, uh, the party found themselves boarded up in a house with this humanoid beast attempting to get in and, in want of word, huff and puff and blow the house down. However, the team was able to stall just enough for the town's guard to come and find them. No beasts in sight. However, they were able to escort the party to the town hall, which was being used as a temporary form of uh, refuge for all surviving, all surviving members of the town. Um, however, um, upon being brought there, the party was escorted up to meet the captain 
of the city. I believe his name was Commander Pax. And he informed the party that the city would not hold out for much longer. And they were given the important mission of heading towards the heading towards the main city of Thil, which this town was technically under the protect protection of. However, for some strange reason, um, reinforcements weren't coming from the town. And the team was sent um, the team was sent on a mission to figure out why and or find clues on what these creatures were and basically if there was any way to stop them. Upon traveling, the group discovered what at first was supposed to be a temple of the goddess whose name I should have, goddess of joy, really. Uh, D and D goddess <laughs> of, of joy. Uh, Li. Oh, yeah, Lyra, the goddess Lyra. Yeah. However, when they arrived, what they found resembled more of a graveyard, as well as a dark, ominous presence that lay dormant underneath. The team decided that it would be worth to explore in there for various reasons. Some sought to cleanse uh, what was supposed to be holy ground of this dark presence. Others uh, simply sought knowledge, perhaps a clue as to what's going on out in the world. I should probably also mention that the world is not like the world we know. This world is one where the sun has long since extinguished and large floating orbs circle the skies, casting a permanent twilight on the earth below. And ever since recently, more and more of these creatures, these mold, as they were called, the ones that were attacking the village have been appearing more and more frequently. Upon entering the dungeon, or upon entering the, um, the temple, the team was able to find out that it was some sort of facility. Some kind of experiment was happening and it was using hundreds of test subjects. Um, many of their names engraved in two stones above with one distinct one missing. Uh, the original or the number one. Um, oh yes, all of the patients were referred to mainly by number. Uh, the only reason they knew their names was through the files they uncovered um, one, uh, exploring the dungeon. Uh, the only one that they weren't able to find any information on was patient number one. And upon journeying deeper and deeper, the team was able to uncover uh, several little secrets, uh, one of which was a strange room with a cloaked figure sitting ominously inside that the team decided to uh, leave B, uh, which was probably a good call, as they proceeded further into the dungeon. And that is where uh, they met their fate, at the hands of a large eldritch beast, large monstrosity, um, spewing noxious gas and summoning rather large tentacles to uh, ruin the party's day. And that brings us to where we are right now. The party wakes up inside what looks like a rather shoddy tent. They remembered a few things from the time before. They remembered at first a few of them that had regain some form of consciousness. Remember waking up inside the dungeon? Inside the room where the cloaked figure was standing? However, 
uh, a uh, brush with the with death's door is not so easily recovered as many of those who did wake up would have merely passed out for whoever knows how long. At this point, I want all of you to, and don't worry, don't worry, this isn't what you think it is, but I want the four of you, or not four of you, for now the three of you, uh, to roll initiative. Um, don't worry, it's not a battle. I just need, I just need this. <laughs> don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I got well, a 20. Well, hey. Uh, guaranteed, this is going to be like the only 20 we get. This yep. Oh, dear. Yo. Okay, 18. Okay. So, anyway. Um, Fishire. Uh, at this point, you're the first to awaken. You look around. You see that you're in some sort of... Some sort of... Crudely built... Crudely built tent... Um, the, the walls of the tent seem to be made of, um, what looked like a mixture of tattered fabric and what looks like animal skin. Um, the spokes which hold up the, um, which hold up the tent are just some crude branches. Uh, all in all, it's a very, very sort of slapdash put together kind of tent. Uh, you look around, and you see, um, you see two dragonborn bodies, um, just lying next to you. They seem to be breathing, um, but you see they're in very bad state. Um, however, their wounds and such have been bandaged, um, as well as you, yeah, their wounds have been bandaged. You also notice, um, the smell of, the sort of smell of herbs. So a sort of very, very crude herbal medicine seems to have been applied to them. Um, suddenly, you turn around. Your vision's still a bit blurry, and you see, you see a hand sort of reaching towards you, and inside it seems to just be a bowl, uh, a large, a large kind of wooden, sort of, just dug out, dug out bowl. Um, filled with water. Um, you look inside. You accept it with both hands. Uh, or, sorry, no. Um, as you, as it, as it comes towards you, you're able to sort of see your reflection in it. And since it's been a long, long time, I'd like you to describe yourself. Describe what you see in your reflection. Oh, wow. It's been a long time, so I might as well. It has. Know. It has. Um, <laughs> so, um, Vishara is um, basically human, though she has silver eyes and red hair. Um, and she's kind of pale. Um, well, it's actually not exactly like pale. Um, it's like someone who's naturally pale Fra phrase who has a slight tan. <laughs> if that makes any sense. An Irish person in the summer. No, th no, we're just burned. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, she wears, um, a rather impressive suit of scale mail. Um, in that... She always keeps it nicely clean. And she has a tabard that goes over that, which is also red, with, um... Um... A few personal effects that she wears. Um... And is there anything else? Oh! Her shield. Her shield has, um, a cloth overlay. Which has a symbol of her goddess on it. That's important. But I think that mostly describes what she looks like. Awesome. So, 
at this point, how do you react to the um, strange hand handing you a bowl of water? I'll leave that up to you. Well, she's a little taken aback and startled by the sudden bowl in her face. <laughs> However, after a second or two, she takes the bowl and she takes a sip. Awesome. Awesome. Um, it's at that moment you just realize just how dehydrated you are. Like, the water almost hurts as it travels down your throat, almost as if it's traveling across sandpaper. Um, you're in very bad form. Um, the, a voice, a deep voice, uh, you hear say the words. You're lucky. You're lucky. I found you when I did. It seems kind of distorted, it's kind of crackly, almost inhuman. And as it, as that voice sort of fills the room, um, our next adventure comes to uh, Artund. Uh, you sort of, your head really hurts. It's pounding. It's, it's like your worst ever hangover times two. Um, you sort of open your eyes, but it almost hurts. Your eyes are super sensitive to the light. Um, the light being just a few, what you can assume by their flickering, a few, a few crude torches just kind of, um, strung up alongside, um, alongside, uh, the, the, the frame supporting the tent, um, almost worryingly close to the ceiling, mind you. The, you sort of look around, uh, you see a few blobs, a few shapes, your head still kind of hurts quite a lot, but, um, you sort of, as you sit yourself up, uh, you feel something trickle down your face, um, and you sort of put your hand against your forehead and you sort of, you sort of pull it back and examine your hand and you see just like quite a bit of red, quite a bit of blood, um, and as your vision comes true, you see there's so much in your hand that you're actually almost able to see your reflection uh, in it. Um, it's quite a lot. It's like almost a little pool. Um, and now I would like you to tell us what you see in your reflection. Scales. Lots and lots of scales. I am a very reptilian-looking being. Almost... Like hey, Beach Chair. How's it going? How'd your stream go? Arms and opposable thumbs. Uh, very bronze colored scales and a big, wide grin that has lots of teeth. Um, <laughs> well, that was the whole goal, wasn't it? <laughs> to be scary. What would you call that? Like a, like a, the mouth. The, yeah, that works. And I'm completely bald. No hair. I remember that I'm also mostly naked because I'm a barbarian. <laughs> so, uh. Ooh, a big puzzle. All I have is, is some cloth around my waist. Perfect. And that's really all that you need to, uh. How about horns? Well, what do, you, what do your horns look like, mm. if any? If you have any? I actually do, and there's two. One on each side, right behind the eyes, like right above the eyes, going back, and then curving. They're straight, and then they curve uh, inwards towards the center of the scalp. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, and now at this point, uh, you're able to regain most of your vision. You're still... You're so, at this point, adrenaline is starting to kick in, so you're able to sort of move a little bit despite your really bad wound. Um, Find it on the puzzle for next week. Your body is <laughs> makes sense. I don't. I haven't really played that game, so I don't know how move. it works really. Um, as you sort of look up, you see, uh, you see, Astrid, um, still laying on what looks like a bed mat, like a bedroll. And you see Vishara uh, drinking, it looks like a bowl of water, as well as above her, uh, a large, um, a large ominous figure covered in tattered robes, 
as you hear, suddenly hear the voice. It doesn't even turn to look at you. Uh, all you hear is <laughs> say, You shouldn't be moving yet. It says in a crackly, distorted, um, borderline demonic kind of voice. It's it's unsettling at first, but um, how do you react? Mm. I would just listen and go with it. <laughs> if he wanted me, he would have not woke me. He would have done the deed when I was out cold. I'm mm -hmm. assuming it's a he, because it's mm -hmm. very, very beastly and mentally ill. Yeah. E evil okay. sounding. <laughs> yeah, I would have stabbed myself if I was, you know, wanting to kill, you. kill me. I would have done it when I was sleeping. Just say. Uh, are you saying that, like, to me or to him? No, I'm saying it to you. Okay. That's, that's what I would be thinking. Okay. Is that I would have stabbed myself when I was yeah. unable to do anything. Okay. That's fair. That's a very fair, very fair distinction. Mm -hmm. Very fair um, observation. All right. So at this point, you sort of lie back and you sort of, you just, you just take the thing's advice. Uh, it sort of moves over towards you. You sort of feel its presence um, move towards you. And um, you sort of, you sort of feel it. it. It doesn't hurt that much. It seems to be very delicate. And it just sort of starts changing the bandages on your head. Um, you open your eyes for a little bit and catch a glimpse of what looks like uh, almost, almost a, sh a shrunken limb. If you get what I mean, like a shrunken head has been kind of shrunk. It's kind of its skin sort of clings to its bone. Uh, its uh, the flesh is a strange sort of reddish black color, um, as it sort of meticulously um, and but gently um, changes the bandages around your head. That one, that's the wound that's opened up that you felt. Um, and finally, mm -hmm. um, the last adventure <laughs> um, <that takes clears throat> to uh, Astrid, you sort of, you sort of try to open your eyes, but it's, it's almost as if, it's almost as if they're glued shut. It's almost as if the, um, you sort of you aren't in a lot of pain you're able to move your arms and your legs they they do hurt um but you're not in total agony uh however you feel as though it's almost there's almost it's almost as if there's something stopping your eyes from opening uh, almost as if like i don't know if any of you guys have ever had a sty on your eye it's exactly the same feeling when once it pops is is currently where where you're at right now uh, how do you react to this? Um, since I can move my my arms, I'm gonna um, reach up to my eyes and feel like if there if there's something on them, like something wrapped on them. You feel you feel some you feel what feel like bandages, some like cloth, some fabric, on your uh, covered across your eyes. I'm gonna uh, try to take them off. Um, so you sort of, you sort of slowly start unwrap, unwrapping them. Um, you feel like on your eyes was, um, there was some sort of, almost some sort of paste. Um, you're not really able to, well, obviously. You're Hi, Bean, them, how are you guys them, doing? You slowly scrape it out and then you sort of open your eyes. And you turn to your right and you see, oh, sorry, sorry, first you turn to your, yeah, your right. And you see Vishara kind of. Um, just drinking from a, just from a bowl of water, just um, looking looking quite quite beaten up. And to the right, and to the left, uh, you see at first what looks like um, the legs or the bottom half of of what looked like Artens, um, as well as this large figure about seven foot tall, um, sort of hunched over, and um, what you see is like almost skeletal fingers. Um, sort of doing something uh, around Arden's head. Um, you sort of look around and you see just different sort of, while some of its body seems to be sort of devoid of flesh, devoid of 
uh, anything human. Other parts of his body seem to swell up with large clumps and boils of flesh. Um, you sort of, it's sort of as it turns its head left and right, you see it seems to have, um, it seems to have three eyes as far as you can see um, with others, with strange sort of slits underneath each, almost as if um, there are potentially more eyes that are just, just has closed. Um, the top of its face apart from that looks almost almost human, though a little bit skinny, but everything below the lower jaw seems to just be shrunken and squished up almost, um, and you can just see it's, it's almost its bare jawbone and all its lower teeth um, just exposed. Uh, how do you react to seeing this thing just hovering over, hovering over Artund? Um, I'm gonna, like, try to maybe, like, lift up a little bit, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to it and be like, it's you, to it. Okay. Alright. So at this point, it says, You were all very lucky. I found you when I did. He says, as he just continues, he repeats what he told Vishara as he continues to, um, at this point, you're able to see that he's changing the bandages up of, um, from Artund. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heave a pretty heavy sigh of relief that they're both okay. And I'm gonna, uh, look at the creature and I'm gonna say, thank you. Is there, is there anything I can do to to repay you or, or assist you for this this kindness you have shown us. He sort of he sort of looks uh, at you guys. He um after he sort of tightens up um and finishes up uh, binding the forehead and wrapping on um art and he sort of steps back and just looks at the three of you and he says You freed me from centuries of capture and this was my way of paying you back he says um and as he does you, you sort of hear the, the bones around sort of clicking and um as he sort of steps back he says he says you three are Destined to save us all. But you must get stronger, he says. If you guys understood, I don't know. I don't yeah. know how easy it is to understand the voice. Yeah, I, I, underst I understood. I'm just questioning how long you can maintain that. <laughs> oh, it's it's yeah i'm yeah it's 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 pretty rough <laughs> it's just talking but you're breathing in instead of your instead of breathing out yeah some different questions so at this point what would you guys like to do uh I would personally like to ask it what the heck it means by destined. Thank you, Kawa. I appreciate it. And hello, Noko. I'm happy I to be back. <laughs> a researcher for the cult on the back hand, he says. He, um. You're fine, Noko. He, he then looks it? at the three of you and he says. Upon being trapped inside the temple, I learned a lot about purpose, about why it was created, and the stories on the people who would one day 
rise up against God. It, he says, um, he says, I can't talk for much more energy running out. Um, he sort of, for my own sake, for my own sake here, um, he sort of takes out um, what looks like a little, an old parchment paper. <laughs> and he begins to write. Um, and he says, he sort of draws, um, he starts to draw a picture for you guys. Um, it's quite elaborate. His hand begins to move. It's almost a blur. Um, and you see midterms what are looks rough. Like several. He starts by drawing what looks like several spheres in the sky, that you assume are the are the large um, are the large spores, the large orbs that light up the world, sort of surrounding you guys. Several of them crashed into the ground behind you. The three of you sort of standing over one of them with a large crack inside it, with what looks like a hand sticking out of the orb. Um, however, there is a fourth person with you. Um, you don't really recognize them. Um, in fact, the person, this, this creature has uh, drawn ever, all of you in detail, but this person seems to be shrouded in shadow. And he just hands you the paper. He hands you guys the... Um, the parchment. What would you guys... How do you guys react? Um, can I make, like, a... I don't know if it would be, like, an arcana or, like, a religion to check to see if I've, I've seen this before somewhere? The particular drawing? Mm-hmm. Um, it's supposed to be sure. like a prophecy or something, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, roll, roll. Uh, this would just be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, roll. Give me an arcane check on this because right. just from your studies and your mm -hmm. travels. Uh, it's an eight plus four, so twelve. Okay. Um, so what you do remember um, is you've actually seen this particular drawing, not to this level of detail, um, in an old an old text that you found in search of your family heirloom. Uh, in fact, this particular parchment that you had found um, was one of your last leads on the location of this of your of your family heirloom. Um, something you'd uncovered, something about its past, uh, one of the reasons it was created. Um, and apart from that, um, you're not able to tell too much. As far as you're concerned, it was a extremely old. It was as old as the heirloom itself, um, mm -hmm. this tapestry. And that's, that's the only place you remember it from. Okay. All right. Um, creature would you guys like to ask it anything else or any questions but mm. uh, <clears throat> uh since i knew medicine can i check myself out yeah sure uh give us a give us a med check 24 one Oh wow! Got a four. I you... rolled an eighteen. Oh, you rolled an eighteen. Okay. With okay. a plus six. So. Oh, oh wow. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. You sort of look yourself. You sort of look at your wounds. Look, and you see they they were bandaged, uh, quite well. Though, um, you see you sort of, uh, as you're examining it, you. See you realize what you're able to really tell is that uh, you guys were in extremely bad shape, um, especially um, your breathing seems to be slightly off. 
Um, you guys are still recovering quite a bit. Um, you guys are currently, from what you can tell, um, recovered enough to your bound halfway to being fully healthy. If I were to try my best to stay immersive there, if you guys are getting what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. All right. Um, and yeah, but apart from that, um, you see that the herbal medicine that they administered um, seems to be made from just a load of like local local herbs. Um, and yeah, but apart from that, you are you are doing good. No long term, uh, no long term damage was done as far as you're concerned, at least externally. Hey, so there's a second part to that. Mm -hmm. Um. Since we are definitely injured, um, can I cast Prayer of Healing? Sure. Okay. I start to chance. It's going to be a little while. It takes yeah. 10 minutes to cast. So, <laughs> it takes 10 minutes to cast? Yes. It's, oh. a, it's a ritual. Oh, okay. So. Okay, that's fair. So as you start to chant, um, the creature sort of looks towards you guys and it says... He answers, you seek light deeper inside and find her and find Ilya. Or wait, Lyra, not Ilya. Lyra in the belly of the temple, he says. And finally he says, There is one more, one more who can aid you. He was but a child. He is, he is found in the encampment to the south. He didn't guide you through the temple. A boy with a star-shaped birthmark on his hand. Um, so if you guys didn't understand that, because I kind of butchered that, um, he said, he said that there was, um, the answers that you seek are at the heart of the temple to find Lyra. However, you guys are currently... Um, there is one more uh, who can help you in this endeavor. A boy with a around um, a boy with a star-shaped tattoo on his hand in the um, black the cult of the Black Hands camp towards the well. He said south. You guys aren't really sure where you guys are right now. I'm gonna ask him uh, if he can point us in in the direction. I'm gonna uh, say uh, I'm sorry. I I don't know what where exactly we are in in relation to that. He, he sort of he sort of nods, and he um opens the opens the tent. Um, in the very very distant, you can see the temple. You can sort of see the remains of it. You can see. You also see this purple haze that's. That's sort of begun to envelop at the outside of it. Um, and he sort of points. Right, no problem, feature. Sort of Thanks for stopping the temple. by. He sort of points left, and he he alerts you. And actually, in the distance, you're able to see a a, a faint glow. Okay. Because um, it it's also it's also like I was about to say it's it's not nighttime, but it's. It's permanent twilight time, so I guess yeah. I guess that always helps. <laughs> yeah. Um, um all right. Is have you guys Um I'm gonna ask him um if he knows what happened to the temple, why why it's been uh, taken over by this evil present. He says he looks and he says My student will know more, but I can 
at least tell you. And this was meant to be the birthplace of its of our spores. I can't I can't do I physically can't spore. Spore. Oh that's it. Spore. However, it was incomplete. Oh my gosh, that's so much scary. Holy holy crap. <laughs> um but yeah, uh he says I am Um is what is what he is what he says. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh thank you again for your help. And and for tending to my allies. We wouldn't have made it if not for you. He says, he also says, he's sort of under his breath. Um, he says, uh, give my condolences. Um, he says it's kind of under his, yeah, I'm just going to use my normal voice. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> Go for it. He sort of says under his breath, um, give my condolences to, to my student. I cannot face him after. Um, sorry, he pulls his mat, he pulls off his hood. And you actually see that he's some form of mutated form of the, um, do you know those ghouls? That you guys fought. Yes. Uh, he says, um, centuries ago, he found himself trapped within. Uh, he said, "Oh wait, no, I'm just gonna." He says, um, "Give my condolences to, or give my regards to my student. I cannot face him after what I have become. Centuries ago, I found myself trapped inside that room where you freed me." with more of those Cult of the Black Hand members. I myself was just a researcher among the ranks. When the door started closing, I was able to push my student out. However, once it closed, the influence of the incomplete spore began to take a hold of us. Uh, we lost our humanity, became, becoming mere zombie-like creatures before we hunger caused us to turn on one another. We ate and we devoured. I'm merely the one who ate more than the rest. After a few centuries, I, I was able to regain my intelligence, but that doesn't change the fact that I did what a human should never do um, until I find a way to at least reverse how I look. Um, you shall find me wandering. Perhaps I shall even be watching your adventures from afar, he says. Um, has, has he given us his name? Um, no, not yet. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to say, well, I, I wish you the very best and I hope you succeed. I, I will definitely pass on your words to your student. Um, may I ask your name? He nods and he says, once I open my notes, um, he nods and he looks and he says, I am Fordrin. Fordrin the wise. At least... That's what he will know me as. Well, thank you, Fordrin, again, for what you have done. And you may rest assured that I will I will pass on your message to your student. He, he nods um, as he sort of heads back into the, um, heads back into the little tent. Um, at this point, I think we can assume as well that, like, between him drawing and like going outside and showing you kind of showing you where things are in the conversation that, that about 10 minutes have passed. Okay. Well then, we all heal 16 HP. Oh, wow. That is pretty good. Oh, nice. I'm at full health now. Max. Um, all right. So, what... What are you guys up to? 
Um, I'm gonna go back inside the tent and uh, see if um, see if uh, uh, Artund and um, my brain is blanking on what Kami's character is called. Uh, Vishara. Okay. Vishara, Vishara. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna see if Vishara and and Artund are are feeling stable enough to leave, and I'm going to brief them on on what Fordrin told me. Outside. The floor is yours. Okay. okay. Um, so we've been asked to find a Fordrin student, and I have a message to pass on with them. Uh, we need to go to this encampment, uh, which is run by, uh, I believe he said, the Black Hand? The Cult of the Black Hand. Cult of the Black Hand. And there is a boy there who has a star-shaped birthmark that will help us in our goals. Uh, and I believe he is the one that was drawn on this this picture of this prophecy. I I don't know about you two, but I believe that this is meant to be. I believe this was fate that we have been brought together. And I feel like we should at least for now continue on together uh if if you uh so wish it well i have no better ideas so i'll go along with that artin i'm gonna agree with you <clears throat> i would uh probably stick with her even if we didn't hmm. do this journey. Arten's not allowed to leave. Arten, <laughs> no, Arten, tied down, confirmed. <laughs> I do have one question for the DM though. Mm -hmm. We die, so should my HP have been like zero? Mm -hmm. But uh, this guy basically saved you guys at death door. So while you yeah. guys would have been, um, so I always say that, and you guys have also been out for a while recovering. Um, which he probably would have told you. Um, it's you guys have been sitting in recovery, and he's been kind of tending to your guys for a, for a while. Um, so a lot of time has passed since then. Okay, because I don't remember how much health I had. Oh yeah. So uh, so Kami sort of checked, and I mm -hmm. said that you guys had were at half HP. Okay. Um, at this point, and then Kami healed you for a further sixteen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's full health for me then. Awesome. I believe. It should be for all of us. Because yeah. we're low level enough. Perfect. Which is why I did that. Thank you for that. No problem. So, so you guys have decided to head towards the the village, correct? Uh yes, I believe so. So at Sorry this point we're going to cut to um in what looks like a rather gloomy stone cell with what looks like some straw covering the floor below and a f the faint sound of dripping water um with with metal bars signaling the exits and the windows um a figure sits shivering covered in a little rag um they sort of uh, uh, they hear footsteps outside the cell uh, as what looks like this very crude sort of stone bowl is kind of tossed in uh, and they sort of look in and see this very watery soup um, they hear the guards say eat up this is probably going to be one of your last meals so enjoy it I made it myself. Um, you, they kind of see that there's, it's, it's, there's, it's, it doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't look that good. It seems to be kind of just this mismatch of a lot of, a lot of random things. Um, and they don't know if the guard was genuinely trying to be nice or if this is some sort of sick joke and they just, or if they just can't cook. Um, but anyway, as they look into the bowl, Somewhere in this cell, somewhere. Um, teach. 
Do you mind describing what your character looks like? Absolutely. So my character is a thick silver hair with um, a thick beard. Um, for race wise, I'd give it like a a fur bjork, a spoonish shaped nose, and uh, wearing rags, torn, tattered, left rags, bare feet. Uh, he's just huddled up in the corner. He has his arm uh, locked in like a fetal position, but like up straight. And he's uh, he's uh, looking himself into the bowl. And he doesn't recognize the man that is in that bowl. It's a, a hollow shell. Oof. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so, uh, at this point, the gang, the three adventures, uh, had set out towards this village. And, um, oh yeah, sorry, I almost forgot. And so, uh, Teach, is there anything you'd like to do to sort of bide your time? And the guard is also standing by the door, so you can ask him questions and stuff. Alright. Is this a uh, sick joke? You're pulling on me. He says, um, he says, what do you mean? Doesn't look too appetizing for a final meal. He says, he sort of looks, and you see, um, roll a perception check. No, roll invest. Uh, Perception. I'll say it's perception. I know it shouldn't be, but it's perception in my book. Uh, sorry, I just get the numbers there. No worries, no worries. Gotta get your, gotta get your first roll. Gotta break you in, you know. Okay. Uh, nice. Seven. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. just in a day like I uh, I'm just deprived of food, so I look pretty. No, I was Give looking at see your freaking waylord picture. <laughs> um, it's so you sort of look at his face. Um, he seems kind of offended, <laughs> but he kind of just says, "Just eat up." He says, "He says, as far as I'm concerned, kid." You were just the wrong place, the wrong time. He says as he slowly begins to walk away. Wrong place, the wrong time, huh? Hmm. Story of my life. All right. Awesome. So, now at this point, while that's happening, um, the adventure is sort of... We're walking towards the town. You guys are still a bit well. You're you're fully healed, uh, physically, um, but mentally, uh, it still kind of weighs down on you guys that you guys basically basically just died. Um, and allow the DM to roll this d20. Yeah, okay, um, nothing too interesting happens uh, while you guys are heading towards the town. You see a few. Uh, you see a few of those. Um, zombie-like creatures, um, but they seem to be just kind of staggering aimlessly towards the woods, around the woods, uh, the wooded areas. You guys are able to avoid them quite easily. Um, I want all of you, I want the three of you to roll a survival check. Oof. I got a nine. Oh. Neff got... Uh, 23. Okay. Um, and I need uh, to roll for Leon as well. Um, his spouse just died. Oh, rip. No worries. Oh, okay. Uh, 18. Oh, wow. Just make Nev roll all the rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Nev, can you do this one? <laughs> well, um, I had three near maxes in a row. I was three. due one fail. That's fair. Um... So at this point, you guys are basically, you guys see the village in the distance. However, you look around and you sort of lose sight of Bishara for a split second. 
However, oh. you're able to uh, quickly regroup um, following the sound of her loud gale mill uh, crying <laughs> through the woods. Um, and you're able to recuperate, uh, regroup, and you find yourself in front of what was supposed to be a little camp, a little, a little encampment, uh, is now what looks like, uh, is instead a, a large, what looks like a small walled, um, settlement. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm always having fun there. with D&D. &D. <laughs> Let me just bring you, oh, what the heck, where'd you, what the heck? <laughs> um, no worries. I'm sure there. you'll do fine. I also don't think I ever uh, described what my character looks like. Right. Like everybody else did, yeah, except for me. You is a large, a large locked steel door. Welcome back, feature. Or maybe not steel. It's probably just crude iron. For anyone who's interested in that kind of thing. <laughs> um, it's a sturdy looking door. You, you guys also see actually what's your what's all your passive perceptions 14 12 14 oh, okay okay this do, do all of you have over 12 i have i have 12 okay wow, that's fine so you guys see up on top i have 11 oh okay you guys are all pretty high that's still fine uh, you guys see that. Uh, I mean, I don't care if you drink uh, another monster feature. <laughs> watching, and they seem to have their bows drawn and they're pointed at you guys. But it is really late for you, too. So. I'm gonna uh, slowly approach the door with my hands up and and tell them uh, that we are we are just weary travelers passing through. And ask if if there is a way we can take shelter inside. Uh, one of them says, "Weary travelers, you say." He, he looks at he looks at his friend. What did the what did the chief say about letting people in? Again, he said, "Um, I believe it was something along. I believe it was something along the lines of." As long as they don't look like monsters. Uh, and the, the other guy sort of looks over and he's like, two of them kind of do. And then the guy says, I don't think he meant... He sort of sighs. Um, roll a charisma check. Or a... a um, pers uh, I'll say flat. Nah, persuasion. Uh, this, cause, this, persuasion. Cause you're not lying, so it's not deception. <laughs> um yeah Pers uh, persuasion, check. persuasion check okay 25 <laughs> God damn it. i was hoping you'd think about <laughs> that one. well that's a nat 20 as well <laughs> it is yes right. um the guy says the guy the guy walks over and he just he sort of climbs down all right, feature. I hope you have a good nap. So Sleep well. Them, you see them both sort of climb down, um, and suddenly the doors in front of you. The doors, the doors in front of you, open. Oh, look at that. That was fancy. Oh, very fancy. <laughs> and you guys um, are let in. Um, one guy. You see the two men. Um, sort of standing by the gate, one walks over to the other guy, and he sort of smacks him in the back of the head, and he says, "Apologize." And he said, "Why, why am I apologizing?" And he said, "You, you called him. You called. You called him monster. You kind of got to apologize." Uh, he, this one walks over, and he says, he sort of, he looks over, and he says, "I'm sorry, um, for for what I said. Um, welcome, welcome to the welcome to the welcome to the settlement. Welcome to the town." Um, it's not really much of a town, nor is it much of a settlement, but it's home. Um, welcome to, welcome to, uh, first space. First spice, sorry, first spice. F-I-R-S-P-I-C-E, first spice. Um, he says, is there anything we can do for you? As apologies. Mishara considers for a bit. And then 
decides to ask, you wouldn't happen to know anyone with some birthmarks on their hand? Birthmarks? Um, actually, uh, the tavern keep has uh, a very distinct birthmark on their hand. Uh, they don't like showing it to people, though. So I've only heard the rumors. Um, so you'll probably have to go ask them yourself. But apart from that, that's the only one I can think of. Thanks. He say he nods and he sort of just goes back to his post, and the door behind you closes. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's um, fancy. Right. <laughs> it is very fancy. So you guys look around, and you see that the town is the village itself is quite it's quite small with only a few houses. Um, surrounded uh, around, surrounding a sort of central, um, a central market square. Uh, you see a few crops of, uh, a few plots of land uh, used primarily for uh, what you see a few, a few heads of lettuce uh, grown and some pumpkins. Uh, but apart from that, um, most most people in the town is are, are seem to be indoors or resting. Um, you guys know that. Um, so just because the the world is in this permanent state of twilight, um, most settlements have sort of their own their own sort of biological clocks. Um, in in want of word, uh, they sort of have designated times to sleep, um, and they can be very different. So this seems to be quiet hour for this town. Um, you also do see, um, you also see that at the very end, um, not at the very end, sir. So like the, the first upon, are you guys gonna, so yeah, once you guys sort of walk closer, you see a large building that you identify as, uh, you did, uh, for a second, you did, uh, did, 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 did. Ooh. The tavern um, is the first building to your left. Large, a large sign above it, um, calling it the Howling. Uh, what was it? The Howling Seal. Um, as well as that, you see many little general shops around, as well as um, blacksmith. Hey. Uh, it seems to, it seems to have all your all your necessities. All your basic necessities in a, in a little town. Well, we do have a tip on someone with a hand birthmark. Yeah, if I say we should probably inquire about that as well as it may be a good idea to um, gear up, perhaps, a little bit. Considered that. However, we're not exactly rich. This, yeah, this is true. <laughs> oh, why didn't oh, you? Oh, um, You should have let them see the absolutely extortionate prices of weapons in D and D. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason I redid the cost of everything in Celestia. <laughs> so expensive. Which oh, yes. you guys probably know. I don't think we've earned any money since we started. Right, we're talking. We're talking <laughs> American organic lettuce prices. <laughs> yeah. We're talking American organic lettuce prices. That's what oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna pick up a tree branch and just go with that. <laughs> if I went, if I went to get rid of the um, disadvantage on my stealth checks. I would have to spend 400 gold. Oh. Yep, yep. And I'd have yeah, to see my C. It's so. it's still, it's just funny how buying equipment is end game for D and D, or like mid game, mid to end game. It's <laughs> like oh okay, it's like the first thing you think of doing. But, uh, Remind me to just steal armor off of somebody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So um. I'm guessing, do you guys just move forward, move into the town square? Yep. Right. Yeah. Um, so upon, so wait, 
12, 14, and 11. Okay, so I can actually... Um, Okay, so upon entering the town square, you notice a few things. Um, you notice, well, actually, you know, you mainly notice one thing. Um, a small band of orcs, um, sort of hovering around what looks like, uh, what looks like a mound of what looks like was once some form of stake, a large, a large um, log. You still see a bit of it smoldering, um, surrounded by a bunch of ash. Um, you see if several several orcs just cheering and clapping. Um, uh, well, no, so they're not cheering and clapping. They're not cheering and clapping. They're sort of just walking around. A few of them are, like, cleaning up. Um, and you see in the distance, another one is, like, hauling another log towards the, um, towards the center. Weird. I'm gonna also, walk up um, to one of them that's uh that's cleaning and ask them what's going on. Looks like they burnt yeah, I wanna I wanna um, ask though. The uh the one one of them turns around and says, um so you ask him one, what what did you ask? So he turns around and says, what uh what is it? He seems to have a rather uncharacteristically um uncharacteristically unmenacing voice. Uh. I'm gonna say I, I'm just arrived here in town. Uh, did did something happen? And oh, I'm gonna yes. gesture towards the, the burning pike. Ah uh, oh, yes, we've burned the witch. He says, just kind of nonchalantly. Hey, while oh, she's it. talking, can I hear this? Um, I'm gonna cast thaumaturgy. Oh. Yep. Oh. What does that do? Okay. I was about to ask. <laughs> oh wait, I'm thinking of press vegetation. Thaumaturgy is so uh, you basically create like a wind where you can move stuff. Kind of like a um, like a so like if it's a shutter, let's say or door, you can just open and close up. The effects vary. But yeah. it's the cleric version of press vegetation. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So so I, so my my memory didn't fail me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, pretty much every class has one of those. I mean, barbarian has beat on chess and make loud sounds. <laughs> I meant spellcasters. <laughs> All right, what would you like to do with it? Um. So. She doesn't like what she hears, and she wants to put the fear of God into them, or the gods, depending oh. on how you want to look at that. Oh. So, she wants to make the fire blaze up, and uh, make an impressive sort of, um, almost like firework kind of effect. Uh, uh -huh. I'm gonna when when this happens, I'm gonna step back in shock and be like, "What was that?" You make oh. an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. So out of the four of these guys, uh, this guy over here just goes. On this one over here, it says. He um looks at looks at the flame blazing up and just says Um he sort of looks at it, he sort of in, is almost enthralled by it. This one, the one that was talking, just goes ah! and then just falls back and then like, falls falls over. <laughs> and like is just like stuck in the hay over here. This one just goes ah! and just kind of steps back and sort of bumps against the table. Um the one over here is kind of is isn't really two phased. Um, and the one over here just looks and says, See, citizens, this proves they were a witch. He says, and then people around gasp. Uh, some people are looking out their windows as well at this point. Um, but yeah. So um, at that point, uh, yes, that is what happens. Um, what would you guys like to do? 
I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to toast them, but it'll probably be bad. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna walk over to the one that fell into the hay and kind of help him up. Uh, and I'm gonna ask him, uh, is are there a lot of witches out here? Do you do you have a lot of trouble with them, or something? Just ones here and there's. Um, this one was just caught yesterday's, um, along with another one. Um, apart from that, uh, we rarely see them. They are here and there. It also oh. depends. How do you how do you keep yourself safe from them? Like, you know, they're witches, so uh, I would assume. I mean, even with that displayed there, but they're very powerful. So how do you how do you keep them captured and keep them uh, from escaping? He he says, "Oh, that's all. Um, that's all the job of the shaman. He just tells us what to do, and we do it." He's over there, um, kind of just does his thing. He kind of waves his stick around. And then, and then we just do it. Keeps us safe. Nice guy. He likes. Yes. He likes. Um. He likes. He likes. What is he? He goes. You know, he's like Jerry. What does the shaman like again? He goes. He turns around. And he says, "Pie." Shaman likes pie. I see. Is is he like the the leader of this town? Is he in charge? Um, basically, I mean, we have a mayor, but he's usually stuck doing paperwork so uh the shaman is more of our like hero kind of like a figurehead i see i see like hi well thank you and please do take care of yourself so that you don't land in any more hay and get stuck oh, and i'm gonna walk back to the group uh, as you turn around you hear <laughs> the one from over here just go bye <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them so it looks like the uh the one over there with the stick, he's their shaman, he's kind of in charge, sort of, and he gives them the orders. We may be we may want to uh, talk to him at some point. And supposedly he really likes pie. I mean <laughs> I don't think he's a believer in the gods. Well, we may want to keep that. A, we may want to keep that a secret, for now. You can sort of tell, Rashara does not like the shaman. Yeah. <laughs> this is fair. This is fair. So, <clears throat> this is out of character. Question for mm -hmm. the DM. Yes. What's up? Are there actual witches in this lore? See, or is the... it like? Anyone who can be, say, say Nephi, for example, here is a sorceress. Yes. Okay, and uh -huh. then Bashar is a priest. Both can cast spells. Doesn't that kind of qualify? Like, yes. Um, yeah. Well, not yes, as in it should. But also, the guy who rules the town is a shaman. Yeah, he so is. That would qualify oh. as well, wouldn't it? Couldn't so that be my like something kind of seems kind of sus that is very sus yeah yeah i mean that's why vishara doesn't like him he's basically making up these rules and establishing who's a witch and who's not i mean historically that's what they did too <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um all right so what would you guys like to do? I'll... Um... I'm curious as to whether or not we are in... Like, a bad situation. Whether or not we should be worried for ourselves. So I I'm kind of curious and want to know more. You feel free to ask. Around. Um... Also, also, I'm pretty oh, sure it was the innkeeper that we were looking for, or tavern keeper, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the, the tavern. Him. So I'm I'm probably gonna head towards the tavern. Okay. So you guys, as you guys head towards the tavern, um, we're gonna cut really quick. 
Um, so as you guys head into the tavern, um, Teach, um, you okay. are rudely awoken um, by like a sharp prod of the bottom of a spear. Um, you see what looks like a large orc character. Um, has opened your ah. and says, "Move! It's time to go. It's uh, showtime." And he says with a rather sadistic grin. Ah, uh, so this is what the joy is over here, is it? Lair, I would stand for that, would she? Ah, uh, he looks and he says, "Ah." Uh, you're not in a position to talk, uh, seeing as you're in a, you're in a cahoots with. Uh... I'm talking right now, aren't I? Hmm. I'm talking right now, aren't I? All right. He's gonna he's gonna attempt to just smack you with the butt end of his spear. <laughs> um. So that is to hit. That is a. <laughs> What's your AC? Uh, sixteen. Oh wow, uh, he. Uh, well, if you if you if you want to make it more realistic, like the letter, and I subtract the armor off, or whatever it was. Um. Oh yeah, without armor, it's just I believe it's just ten plus dex, isn't it? Unarmored. Yeah. yeah. Un unarmed defense. Yeah. So what's the um? Ten plus dex. So it would be nine a month with armor class at the moment. Okay. So he he's able to, he smacks you with the butt of it. Yeah. Um, Right into your gut, and that is un di act. Uh, uh, plus, <laughs> plus one. Why are you dead? You're you're knocked out. No. I'm oh, sure. okay. I thought I thought you only had the eight HP. I was like, yo, what the heck? Nah, nah, oh. nah. It's, it's, it's me, it's me, me. I have. All right, all right. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Ah, uh, he goes. Any more cheek off you? Fish on the ground. <laughs> he says. Uh, he, I'll move along. Yeah. And he sort of, you sort of, um, the light is kind of blinding. Um, at this point. Yeah, so um, you're sort of moving along. You see people sort of watching you from the windows. Yeah, I definitely want to kill the shaman. Just. So while that's happening, we will, you you sort of you know you're being um, basically walked towards being burned at the stake. Um, Yay! Like, I wonder if I can oh, sneak attack him. Also, before we cut back to the group, um, you also hear the person say, <laughs> um, "Don't worry, you'll be joining your uh, master soon." Um, he says, referring to the witch that was just burned. That you actually, yeah. Um, all right. Why does this thing desync my voice so much? Okay, there we go. Um, so at this point, you guys walk into the tavern and you see standing behind the um, where's he? There he is. <laughs> Disappeared. Uh, you see standing behind, um, not the one. That's the one. Alright. So you see standing behind the um what was it called? Um What's this called again? Counter? Counter. Standing behind, yeah, standing, standing behind the tavern counter, polishing, polishing a large tank here, uh, you see a rather stout-looking gnome. Uh, he looks up at you and he says, um, he looks up and he says, Ah, what can I do for you? Are you here for some ale? Some, a bed? Or maybe, watashi? Oh. <laughs> Um, do, do we have any money at all? Um, you had your... 
Starting, dude. Does it does it say you have any in your starting in your uh, sheet? 15, sure. 15 GP was on the starting, I think. That's yeah. what I have written. That's what I have too. Okay, so you both see you started with fifteen gold. Um so yeah, you got you've got about fifteen gold on. Okay. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to the counter and I'm I'm gonna greet the uh gnome. I think you said. Yes. Uh you be like, hello, He's uh funny. Do what? Oh, no, I was gonna say he just places like he he places what looks like a wooden bowl upside down and stands on top of it. So he's looking at your eye tie. Oh. Power move. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, we're uh, weary travelers. We just arrived in town. Um, do you uh, have any food that you sell here? He says, "Of course, we've got pie, we've got haggis, we've got." <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? We've got some tripe. We've got some... Oh, yes. Ham. And lettuce. We have lettuce. Uh, uh, how, how much for, for two pies and uh, a set of drinks for, for me and my companions here? Uh, he looks... He sort of opens a book and starts flipping through, and he says, uh, tell you what, how about for the pie, so two pies, three drinks. Any particular choice of drink? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll got, look at them. We've got mead. we've got, if you're, if you're looking for the budget option, we've got grog. Would you like grog? I do like grog. Uh, grog, grog sounds good if you like water. it. We've also got fire water. <laughs> Uh, what uh, what's your recommendation? Um. Uh, I do like I do like some grog. Grog, it is then. Awesome. <laughs> um. Grog. Let me just. All right. So he um, he says all together, that's about. Ten, ten silver each. And I believe, um, yeah. So that's about thirty silver. How, how many silver is a gold piece? Is that a hundred? It is ten silver. One gold is ten silver. One gold is ten silver. Okay. All right. I'll. I will take it. I will lay down uh, three. Are you, are, you, are you paying? You're paying for all of them? All right. Y yes. Good on you, he says. He takes it uh, and he says, uh, I'll bring the food down to your table. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, you also notice that he seems to be wearing gloves. That's probably a good thing. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, safety. Hey. Sanitary. He's handling food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the love of God! <laughs> yeah, he says, "Is there anything I can do for you? Anything else I can do for you?" I almost want to bonk him on the head and just take the pie. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I feel like stuff's about to go south really soon. That's why I'm getting the pie. So I feel like we should just like, Y'all ain't eating this pie. Drop his body behind the counter, get our fill, and go find the shaman. Aren't you meant to be like our one good character? Yeah, but this I is mean, I'm a shari as well. Life. This is me out of character. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Alright. At least he um, didn't suggest to eat him. Oh, this is a PG 13 campaign. I'll have you know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, it's not. Where we go I, away? I, I'm pretty sure it's not. After the amount of gore on its own has bumped it up quite a bit. Probably. Um, before we go away, um, I do want to ask if he has um, seen any people with birthmarks on their hand. He looks and he says, "Oh." He looks and he's like, "As a matter of fact, I." have quite the birthmark on my hand. Um, really? 
Yes. Um, however, <laughs> it's actually us in the village here, sort of almost see it as an attraction of sorts. So if you'd like to see it, I'll have to charge you. Nothing major. Just a little. Seduction. Just a little. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> one gold. I have doubts. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you actually doing that in the game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, roll deception. Oh, <laughs> oh perception? Or... Deception. De oh. Deception. I should be... <sighs> I should be the one to read perception. <laughs> okay, so the skill thing says I have a two in deception. Mm -hmm. And what did you roll? Okay, and I'm gonna roll a d20. Yes. Yep. Oh. I rolled a twelve, so it'd be a fourteen. 14. Yeah. Fourteen. Um, <laughs> uh, he says, "Oh." What is it? It sort of spins around. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Bonk him. I would bonk him, yeah. I don't want to, like, slash him in half. I just yeah, so you can do un 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 armored, un uh, un lethal damage. All right. Let's knock him out. Roll the hit. Reagan, <laughs> Reagan, do it. Holy yes. crap. Yes. Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> Um, Do I have a um, with this? Um. Um. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is not uh, feeling oh, good. Four plus, four, plus four, plus four, four plus what? I was about to ask which modifier. What it's goes on your weapon. It's next Christian to your weapon. It's and strength. It's plus something next to your weapon. I'm sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> um, it's proficiency plus strength. Actually, we could probably derive it from... What is your strength? I believe it's five. The, the attack says plus five, and then the damage type says okay, one plus five. Thank, plus three. Thank, <laughs> God. <laughs> Thank God. Your character is a freaking muscle head. Um, you're able to hit him. You just go bonk against the back of his head. Roll damage. Oh. Thank God. Okay, so I rolled to it'd be a D twelve plus three, so it'd be five. Five damage. Um. You you walk up behind him, and you you just thump him, really hard with the back of the um, with the back of the old, the old um. Axe, and your man is like he kind of. He pauses for a second and he just falls down flat. I'm gonna take my money back off the table. I want to look at his hands. You sort of take all the pie off his hand, and you do see an actual birthmark there. Um, you look at it, and it seems to be in the shape of a duck. <laughs> a duck. <laughs> It's really detailed, like it's it's like it could have been a tattoo, but it's clearly birth. I'm gonna swipe the pies off the countertop also. Well, obviously not our man. Nope. We we need to make this look like an accident. Quick, pour pour oh. some ale or some grog around him on his face and, and on the ground, so it looks like he just passed out from being drunk. A second, let me just sure. do a little, a little roll here. <laughs> okay, nothing. Okay, you guys are good. You guys are good. <laughs> Don't. For sure, it's gonna up to the other side of the table, and strategically position, um, like a keg or something like that, so it looks like he hit the keg with his head. This is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna make you roll wisdom for this, just because. <laughs> That's like, I'm like deception, but like, this isn't a charisma kind of thing, you know what I mean? So I'll make a roll with me. Just a wisdom check. Gross. 
Natural <laughs> 20. What? Why do you get this on all the stupid <laughs> You, you guys, um, you see Bishar just kind of snaps and dashes. Bishar's like, oh crap, you know, this can't go on my record. Um, so Vishar vaults over the table I just instantly starts positioning and changing a load of stuff um, Vishar like even sort of moves the keg over and sort of takes out like a little little knife from under the under the um, under the the table and then makes a little scratch in the dude's scalp so that a little bit of blood start, starts to drip um, she kind of like wipes the blood off the edge of the keg cleans the blade, places it back sort of m puts a few things in his hand, finds a little step ladder, sort of just breaks one of the legs slightly, um, and then just places on the ground next to the guy, vaults back over just in time for someone to run in um, and say, what? what's happened? Did he fall down? I heard thud. He looks, he looks yes. at you guys. He tripped and fell. Um, and he hit his head on his cake. With advantage. Uh-huh. Who's Rowie? Um... I'll let Vishar. Oh, jeez. It's pitch. <laughs> Realistically, it should be. Oh, no. So. Oh, no. Just don't get a one, for the love of God. Like, just, just don't get a one. I get an eight. You got an eight? Okay, that's fine. Yes. So, the guys... Um, that was that, with, that was with advantage, right? Yes. Uh, I rolled... Okay. A nine and a three, and I have a and negative one. one. <laughs> so oh. All right, all right. Well, the eight is enough, and the person says, "Oh, quick!" Um, so runs over, and um, you. Uh, what was it called? Um, did you see them sort of pick up, pick up the um, pick pick up the the little gnome, and just walks over and shouts, "It it this a by the way this is a little this is a small girl gnome." Just picks picks up and just goes, mother, mother, father's fallen, and he can't get up. <laughs> and he sort of she sort of pulls him into the back room, and you just hear you just hear like a sort of sh shrill kind of high pitches, and then you just hear some clattering and stuff, and they're kind of busy trying to bandage and stuff, and he's like, honey, can you hear me? <laughs> and that's that's all you guys hear. I'm gonna stuff these pies underneath my cloak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no one's watching, so I'm not gonna make you roll. So you've got about three pies? Yeah. I'm mostly naked, so... <laughs> Prison pocket? Uh, anybody want anything else? Well... Fine. This is meant to be a good party, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, awesome. we, were, we were being good. We were being we're good. good. Until Honestly, until our ton decided to just knock the guy out. I was gonna pay for these. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna charge us to show us his hand. He was a jerk. It's true. Capitalism, my dude. And they're burning people. I don't like this place. <laughs> I, d I don't either. I'm like, well, like good people. I wanna personally. I wanna like <laughs> take out the shaman and look for the person we need to find. Yeah. Pretty sure that's or... next. Birthmark. Yeah. It's like, well, that lead is is dead. Uh, I guess let's let's try talking to the shaman. They said he he likes pie, and I have pies. Maybe we can. You do. <laughs> maybe we can find some, <laughs> figure something out through him, since our our only lead is turned up, knocked out. What is this key? Lock. There we go. Okay, cool. So as you guys make your way up... I'm gonna pull uh, one of the pies out from under my cloak, but only one. I'm keeping the other two hidden. Right. So, as you guys walk out, um, you see the shaman is in the middle of actually... Wait one second. Um, tying a figure up to the... Uh, to the yoke. What's it called? The, sh the shake. Shake. The shtick. Oh, the so it's, it's a shtick, boy. Um, sorry, guys, this is what happens when I have another freaking Irish person in the call. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me, why won't you let me remove this? I want to get rid of the fire. I oh. want to go. Sacrifice. 
<laughs> um, so I'm gonna get a cloaked fig here. Uh, okay, being tied up there. Um, the shaman, and the shaman's currently busy tying them up. What What would you like to do? <laughs> I've already said what I think I should do, but yeah. I'll let the others choose. <laughs> sure. You guys it's going to frown at uh, the site before us. And, so not um, yet doing anything about it. And I believe Astrid has walked towards Woodpie, but his yes. back is turned towards you. Oh, I'm going to raise my voice a little bit because I don't want to get too close to this guy. And then be like, uh, Hello! Good sir, might you be the illustrious man in charge of this lovely settlement? He turns around and he says, illustrious? He sort of looks at you. And he says, hasn't I've... anybody told you? As he kind of flattery will get you almost anywhere? He says, roll charisma. <laughs> well, he doesn't say roll charisma. It's just, uh... he... I'm <laughs> saying roll charisma. He's not... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, 20. Nat or unnatural? Uh, oh, okay. un unnatural, 14 plus 6. Oh, six free okay, okay. Yes. Um, I forgot about that. Um, he says, <laughs> actually, on second thought, he sees the pies in your hand. The flattery will get you everywhere. Uh, what can I do for you? He says, uh, sort of, un leaves this, <laughs> these um, ties sort of on half untied. As he walks towards, arms out, he sort of waddles towards you, expecting the pies. <laughs> Alright, how do I want to do this? Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Uh, do I have uh, a rage ready? Yes. You sh yeah, we should all be full. Oh, um, a question. Yes. Um, do I get that spell slot back that I used? Yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been several days. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, I, figured, but... I can sense my companion's distrust of this man. So I'm going to hold the, the one pie out to him and wait for him to get closer. And then I'm going to take one of the other pies out of my cloak and shove it in his face so he can't see. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, um, roll, what do you even bring in roll for that? Holy crap. Um, I'm just gonna make you roll. I would say Dex, personally, because she has yeah, to actually like, it's aim a lot of aim. stuff. I mean, he's in front of me. I wouldn't have to aim too much, but... It's more... I guess just roll... Yeah, you know what? Just roll Dex for me. Just easy. Oh, seven. Seven. Um, is that <laughs> that's flat. Now I don't have any boosts on my decks, so that's flat. All right. Um, let me just very quickly get this ready. Um, as soon as this happens, um, so you whip out the pie and you attempt to shove it in this dude's face. Um, he, however, is no. a little bit too quick and ducks underneath, and he says, he shouts, guards. Get him! <laughs> and as soon as he does, uh, I want all of you to roll initiative, uh, including you, Teach. Hey. I knew it was coming. Oh, wow, another seven. Let's go. Eleven. No pie advantage, though. Darn it. Two. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's gonna be a while. Alright, um, wait, let me just get my notepad up. Um, encounter... Wait, what the heck? Why did I type an encounter into the... Okay. So. I typed in notepad into notepad. Uh, who, uh, who has highs? Uh, Kami, I think. Bishara. Kami, what uh, did you get? Well, I was 11. Bishara at 11? Cool. I had a 3. I was 7. Oh. Okay, so I have Bishara, Astrid is seven, then Artend at three, three 
and Peach's character, who is currently unnamed, two. Um, is that adding all your? Is that adding the um, initiative modifiers? Uh, yeah. Modifiers? Mm. What do I add? It's initiative. It's next year, AC. Okay. Or it's next year. Yeah. That'd be one. So one. So you're on four. I'd be rolling the four. Okay, cool. And let's roll for these dudes. Um, I tend to just roll enemies as. Um, oh, I'll just do that now. So first one first is as the shaman. That is on eleven. Where is this? Uh, eleven plus two. That's thirteen. So he's actually going first. That's even that fun. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, crap. Crap. That's the wrong freaking thing. <laughs> um. Here we go. Okay. Plus two. So. Shaman <laughs> equals 13. Uh, and then the rest of the boys. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> uh, that's 13 as well. So the roll off the shaman. I'm just going to put the shaman first. Uh, 13 as well and then finally boy in the back the one who you were talking to <laughs> all right cool you got a 19 cool um all right all right that's the thing this is, uh, all right, all right. <clears throat> oh, wow, I forgot. I completely forgot. Um. Oh, you have a spell for initiative? Well, it's not a spell, but, uh, I would have, um, at least touched myself this morning to give myself vigilant blessing and get advantage. On initiative. You know, what? I'll just just this time since it's been a while, I'll allow it. So you can roll it again for your initiative, and hope to God you get higher than these guys. Oh, <laughs> Zero a lot. I got the exact same roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's fate. Uh, just, uh, take it like. Rip. I'm not gonna make that joke. Um, okay, <clears throat> so. First things first, um, this this guy, sort of, um, with a tear-filled expression, says, he shouts, he looks at you guys, and he says, "I trusted you." As he points to, uh, as he points to Astrid, and he's gonna cast Sacred Flame. Um, so you're gonna have to roll on a Dexterity saving, which is gonna be, uh. So, oh, assuming he's aiming at me. Yep. What'd Ele you okay. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, and you've got no modifiers. Okay. So, unfortunately, uh, you are unable to avoid it as um, just this flame like, just this like beam of light, sort of like appears above you and it just beams down on you with like a really intense heat and you take uh, exactly four damage after this um it's gonna be a zishoman's 
the shaman's turn. Um, okay, so. The creature, or the shaman, is firstly going to move back. Because he was, wait, he was, he was in here, so he's going to proc your opportunity attack. Hey, um, I take it. Can, yeah. What do I roll for that? Um, it's going to be your, um, I believe it has to be a melee weapon, doesn't it, for opportunity attack? Yeah. Yeah, I have a so, dagger. At least, unless you get a feat. Yeah. Alright. Do I, do I still need to roll the hit, though? For that, or is it just a straight? Yes. You rolled a hit. Mm, never mind. What'd you get? What'd you get? A two. Alright, you don't hit. He moves back. Ah! And then he's gonna cast. Um... Didn't he just cast? No, that was the other one. No, it's the other one. This is the shaman. This is the oh. Uh, he employs a Okay, cool. So, uh, he's gonna cast uh, what's called Drift Backwards, which, where the heck, which causes him to summon what is essentially a clone of himself. Um, if I can find a clone of himself. Uh, orc. There he is. Uh, da, 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 da. Give him 30 feet. So this one appears in front of you. And... Yep, that's all he does. I... That is all he does. Uh, it is now uh, the other boy's turn. So, um, the one over here is going to pick up, he's going to reach behind him, and he's going to take out what looks like a large javelin, and he's going to hurl it towards, um, he's going to hurl it also towards Neff, because just because Neff's in the front right now. Um, and that's going to be uh, plus five, so we do this. Oh, wait, sorry, let me, oh, six plus five, 11? Does that hit? Yes. Oh, gosh. Of ten. Oh. Let me put some proper battle music on for this. There, is that better? Yes. More ambient. All right. So that hits. He's going to roll one d six plus three. Oh, seven damage. All right, and the last one over here is going to try to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and he's going to pull out the large battle axe and just hold it menacingly. All right, it is now uh, Vishada's turn. Okay, so, um, first. Uh, someone in my chat wants, uh, you to remind everyone what the program is, so oh, I'm gonna have you do Chaos it. Fire. It's currently in early access, um, but it's definitely worth it. It's very bare bones, but, um, it is, it's like any tool. It is what you can make of it. Um, so would definitely suggest it's a bit pricey, um, so... You better have a dedicated party if you want to make every single person buy this. So I just screen share it. Um, it's got a lot of features that I don't use <laughs> as a result. But yeah, would suggest 10 out of 10. Or not 10 out of 10. Maybe an 8 out of 10 because it needs some features. But it's called Tailspire. Download it now on yep. Steam. Okay. So after that, um, Yashara is going to say um, to the other two, you take the left side, I'll take the right. 
and she's going to walk forward and use Channel Divinity. Oh. Okay. Oh. And <clears throat> she's going to do the Twilight Sanctuary. Oh, that's the one that heals everyone in the... Yes. In the... Hey. Well, it's not healing. It's temporary HP. Oh. But it's All nice. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alright. Alright. She does that. And, as her bonus action, she chants, and she summons her spiritual weapon. Oh. 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 Which is gonna appear. <laughs> Next to the shaman. Which it's one? Right. Um, the farther back one. Because okay. she's next to the other one. Yeah. But it appears as a bright blue glowing warhammer. Oh. Well, oh. it's probably, it probably looks more like a mall because. We got it's this. A very I believe in us. Let's go. Cool. And that's going to be your turn. Yes. That's oh, it. Oh, you have to summon it and you can't actually... All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is now uh, Arton's turn. No, it's Astrid's turn. Yes. I am going to cast Scorching Ray on uh, the two furthest away and then the one in front of me. Oh, to the, on the left side. On the left side, okay. Yeah, because she's... She, yeah. Yep. Yep. Those three. Which is a, a range to hit on, on each each of those. Which is, cool. I'm assuming just a normal so d20. The, yep. And that's your... That adds your to hit. Yeah. Um, which is your... I believe spell... Uh, it's your spell casting plus proficiency, I believe. Um, it should say next to your spell. Or above your, above all your spells, it'll say, um, spell to uh, There's a two above it. I don't know if that's what uh, that like, is. Uh, above all your spells, uh, there should be a... Oh, wrong page. Um, okay. Yeah. Spells. <laughs> uh, three hit dice. No, no, it's, um, wait, let me, have you got a copy of, I should probably have asked you guys for updated copies of your, of your thingies. There's a uh, plus, it's either a plus five or a plus six next to it, in the list. Oh, okay. If that's um, wait, what's, what your, what's your charisma? So your charisma plus six. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, so I believe it's plus six. So it's, uh, temp, uh so roll d20 plus six. All right, so that's a 20 for the first one. Okay, that one hits. Uh, 18 for the second one. That also hits. Uh, and that's 15 for the third one. The third one has an AC of... Oh, it's 15? Yeah, it hits. Okay, so roll damage right. for the first one. 2d6 fire damage. So... Yes. Yeah. Twelve. All right. Oh wow. <laughs> Wait, did you just get two sixes? A uh, ten and a two. Wait, how does that work? Wait a minute. It's supposed what? to be two <laughs> d six. I clicked on d six. Hold on, let me try this again. <laughs> like, Four and three so seven. All right. I was like, Wait. <laughs> so, um, the first um. So, so it's seven. You, see, you guys see Astrid sort of lift up her her staff, and oh. it's a crystal. Not a staff. Oh, sorry, crystal. <laughs> crystal, and it sort of starts to glow a deep red as a beam flies out and just pierces through the shoulder of um, the the orc up here, and it just sort of singes as it goes, ah! as it sort of staggers back a little. The second one, um, roll roll damage for the second one. Five. Five. The um, the next boy, and just gets another beam. Um, directly at his chest. It doesn't quite pierce through, but it heats up 
and he sort of grits his teeth in pain and he sort of tries to take a step and push against the force of the blast. And um, five so on the third one as well. Five on mm -hmm. the third. I forgot to actually, I got two into the thingy and forgot to take, take damage. This one's that. Then this one is a five. And this one is also a five. All right. So the finally, um, Okay, so finally, um, the last bolt flies towards the um, the shaman in front of you, <laughs> and it sort of hits his shoulder, but he's able to, He's you see him sort of um, twitch, and he sort of grits his teeth in pain, and it leaves a nasty burn, but he seems to be, he seems to be um, relatively healthy, uh, despite being hit by this. Okay, uh, it is now... Okay. Oh, by the way, yes. um, Neff needs to roll for her temporary HP. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, what was that one again? It is 1d6 plus 3. Okay. Uh, 4. There you go. Okay. So you heal for... You're, no, you don't heal. You have 4 temporary points. Okay. Yes. So, uh, at this point, um, this clone is going to... Oh, wait, you scorching... Wait, one second. One second, you just you, you scorching... Yeah, dude, you roll, roll that d20. Yeah, just gotta, just gotta, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got 20, uh, I got, I got a 1 in 20 chance. So. So 1 in 20 chance. That's... Okay, nothing happens. Yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! All right, cool. So, um, at this point, uh, it is Artin's turn. Okay. Um, and you can roll a d4 as well for um, temporary hit points. D6. You d6. said that the shaman created a clone of himself? Well, thank you for the contribution, Deech. I appreciate it. Do we know which one's the clone? We're almost yep, the one there. In front of Neff. Okay, uh, it's four plus three. It's um, a d6 plus three. Oh, d6 plus three. Yeah, I rolled a yes. d6 and I got four, so uh, seven. seven. So you heal seven? <clears throat> or temporary hit point seven? Temporary hit point seven. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm um, sorry. What, what did you hmm? say about the clone? Oh, I, I said this. This one's the clone. Wait here. Oh, let me. Let me. Um, let me make it easier. Make the clone. I'll make the clone slightly shorter for some reason. Oh, actually, here. There you go. Clone is the one with the white border. Okay. Thank you. Um. I'd like to hit the original. Okay. But I'd, I'd like to rage. Okay. So you see Arten suddenly, his eyes begin to glow and this sort of uh, heated haze sort of appears over his shoulders as his you see his muscles begin to tense as he goes into a rage-like state. Um, I'm going to do a standard great axe attack. Um, the the original is way back here, though. Can yeah. I You're gonna move to towards me? him, but if you do, you will proc opportunity attacks from this guy. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's actually why I said to take the left. Because we need to clear the front guys. Then we can get him. Well, except for my spiritual weapon, which is next to the real one. Okay, I'll attack the guy beside me with the club okay. um great x so i'm assuming it's d20 plus five uh yes oof i rolled a two so seven seven um you bring your axe down to try and hit him but he's able to he, he like sort of leans into it and this, he has a thick leather shoulder guard, and it absorbs the majority of the hit. 
um, uh, and he's relatively unscathed. And he looks at you and grins. Ah, uh, okay. And that is that. Um, I believe... Uh, yeah, that was two added, so I don't think you have any particular bonus actions. Okay. So. Um, does it Rage yeah. have advantage? Oh, Rage has, rage has, has advantage. That's no. That's no. Reckless Attack. Oh. Wrong Which team. you could do. Yeah. They didn't say that. Right, Before I forget know. though, um, I need to make sure that, uh, because I have a sort of new understanding of the Twilight Sanctuary. Um, oh, yeah, did we get the, um, so thing there. small clarification while it works every turn, um, the temp HP don't stack. So if we don't use them or lose them, I guess you could say, um, they go away and are replaced by the new one. Okay. So. That's fun. Okay. Yeah. That is pretty. That makes me happy. Because that was very strong. Yes. Um, let me find. There should be a way to toggle rulers. I remember. Remember once. Oh, here it is. Um, how how wide did you? Where did you put the um toilet sanctuary? Thirty feet around me. So around you. Oh, it just stays with you. Yes. Uh. One. Wait, that's Neff. The sphere is centered on you as a radius of 30 feet. Okay, well, this is close enough. Um, so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's pretty big. Yep. That looks really cool. Mm hmm. Really pretty accurate. I mean, there is silvery light coming down from above around us. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so it is now, um, Teach. Uh, your arms are bound. Um, we're gonna start your turn off with a strength check to try and get out. Ooh, oh my. Is a saving throw or is it just regular strength? Uh, regular, just regular. Okay. Okay. Ten. Uh, ten is plus, is plus strength. Yeah, yeah. So that's enough. That's enough anyway. So uh, you, see, you see the cloaked figure um, sort of just break oh. the ropes from behind them. Um, on. Let me just do a quick roll. Unbeknownst to the people behind or in front of him. Um, you guys see it, but the ones with their backs turned do not. Uh, what would you like to do? Question for you. Yeah. If I create a spirit, is that an action self or is that a bonus action? Um, which, which, what do you mean? Like if I use one of my abilities, which is, ah, sorry. Is it just a yeah, it's a. Uh, I'll just look for my features. Uh, Did someone say spirit bomb? Three? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Spirit bomb. Uh, um, just call forth an animal. Spirit. Oh, spirit totem. Yeah, that's a bonus action. So you can you can do that as a bonus action. Uh, so uh, I'll use that and I'll call unicorn. Okay. Um. Now, what is it nearby? Oh, it's a 30 foot radius. 30 uh, foot radius, yeah. Exactly, you can move this. Oh, but you can't do that again. Okay. Um, let me just very quickly double check uh, the old 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. You're able to get. Wait. 30, yeah. 35, 30, 35. Um, if you move a little bit closer, it'll. It will. Um... Oh wait, you can you magic you you summon it on a point uh, within sixty feet. So do you want to just put it like in the middle here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Random works. platform. Okay. Cool. 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 So let me, let me uh... just get some representation. Um, unicorn. Please tell me this unicorn. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it auto-corrected the unisex. Um, oh no, no, no. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure there's a horse. Yes. It's a horse outside. <laughs> here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a, all it has is a donkey. So here, there's your unicorn. <laughs> Alright, so, unfortunately, there's no, there's no horses. Yeah, there oh, is. there is. It's right it's here. Never mind. Cool. <laughs> Gotta kill him. This one. There it's a good go. thing we don't have an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, you guys suddenly see this magical ethereal um, unicorn um, just manifest and almost jump out of thin air. And then it just sort of floats, it hovers in the air. Um, creation, have to spell fly, resource, hit point, any creature inside or outside each creation fairy also. Wow. Okay. Yay. Anyway, well, I just read that. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, you guys sort of just see it's kind of, it starts to pulse with this sort of green energy, and it just, it just kind of envelops the um, area around it in just this really thin mist. Um, alright. What else would you like to do? And I'll heal myself with, uh, healing words. Yep. So that's, uh, or 1D and then plus modifier. Right. And, I will um... be four plus modifier. Oh, sorry. Let's go. Plus five. Nine. Nine? Okay, cool. Yeah. You, heal, you heal yourself for nine. I mean, so, you're, so and, a jet and, not jet me. Hmm? Jet me in a hit point again. Sorry? Uh, 18 hit points. Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right. So. Oh, you were saying in Irish. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Got that. All right. Um, so. Uh, as a result of this, you see the you, you see him sort of put his hand on his on his chest, and you just see him just be surrounded by this sort of green light, and you see like, um, you sort of see him sort of straighten up. Um, you guys would recognize it as a healing spell. However, the unicorn's horn begins to glow, and as it does, um, the green um, sort of the green mist around your feet sort of collects around you guys, and each of you also heal for three if any of you are damaged. This neck. It's just Neff. Yeah, I'm tanking today. An <laughs> auto check meant to detect you and your allies with. Oh, okay. It also gives. Okay, cool. Um. Okay. Uh, are you gonna do anything else? Oh, that was it. That was it. Are you gonna? Yeah, move? I am. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm fine the way I am at the moment. Okay, cool. Uh, so these things are sort of. There's like, whoa. Cool, giant, giant unicorn. Um, I just rolled in the background, and uh, ironically, this is the only guy who notices you. And he's like way over there. Um, okay. So now it goes full circle back to this boy. He's pretty, pretty injured. Um, he's very bloodied, um, but he is going to attempt to um, cast on himself. Cure wounds. Yeah, cool. He's going to use cure wounds on himself, um, which is going to allow him to heal for one d eight. So let's go. Ooh. Three plus his spell casting, which is plus four. Um, so wait, four plus four. So he is able to heal. You see, you see the large wound on his on his shoulder begin to close up um, as he as he heals himself, and he's almost back to exactly how he was before you hit him, um, minus a few charred articles of clothing. Um, that's his turn done, though, um, and he is going to pass it on to. Uh, the shaman. All right. The shaman is going to walk up. Um, it's going to be the clone. And the clone is going to grab onto Vishara. 
and it's going to use what's called Drift Forward. Um, and suddenly, both of them disappear. Um, so I'm just going to move you guys over there for now. Uh, both of them disappear um, for uh, 1d4 turns. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know this, this is time-based magic. Um, if I can find 1d4. Oh, you're fine, Teach. No problem. Two. Okay. So they're both they they are both yeeted. Um, I will still allow you to use your oh, kind of in the future. I shouldn't, but I kind of I feel like I'll still let you use your spiritual weapon because I think the spiritual weapon is kind of like it's almost autonomous. Um, I know you control it, but it's basically so I'll, I'll let you still do. Okay. So you're both <coughs> yeeted. Um currently not there anymore and okay um where is this yep that's the end of the clone's turn um this guy now the shaman is going to walk back one two three and he's going to attempt to bonk leon um with the staff um, do you have do you have resist uh, do you have um you have resistance uh, when you're raging don't you yes cool uh, so it's, gonna, it's gonna roll to hit 16 plus four that I assume hits so I have 14 on my class <clears throat> 14, 14 on the class okay yeah so that hits. so you take four damage um, from his first attack but he has multi attack so he slams down with his staff. It hits you uh, really hard, and it's like you almost buckle a little bit, and then he spins it around and hits you with the butt end of it. Uh, well, he tries to hit you with it. We shall see. Uh, that's a 9, 9 plus 4, 13. You said you had 14? Yes. Okay, so he does not hit, so you're able to just, like, use your elbow and just stop it from doing any real damage. And he said, as he sort of, he sort of looks up at you. It is now the turn of uh, this orc, this orc boy, who's going to get a javelin and he's going to try and throw it at uh, Teach. Um, so, where is it? Where is? Where is? Uh, okay, there it is. Plus five. That's a six. No, nine plus five. Does fourteen hit? Uh, AC. AC. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, cool. You take three plus three. You take six, uh, piercing damage as the javelin flies through the air and it beds himself in your shoulder. Um, orc number two's turn. Orc number two is going to look at the threat directly in front of it, and it's going to try to bonk Leon with an axe, with a great axe, of its own. 14 plus 5 most definitely hits. Uh, that's going to be a d12 plus 3. You take... Maths. What is maths? 3 plus 9, 12 damage. That's a big boy. A big axe just comes slashing and crashing down you. But you... No, no, you don't take 6 damage. Sorry, my bad. You take half that. So you take... You take... You don't take 12 damage. Or you don't take... Wait, what? Maths. 9 plus 12. You take 6 damage. Okay. Quick question. Yes. Uh, weren't we supposed to be doing something with a uh, temporary health? Oh, yes. um, so that's at the start of your turn. Okay. So you can take that from your temporary health instead of your main health. Yeah. And also, the attack before, you were uh, you got a half the damage on that as well. The one that the shaman did. I don't think I've been keeping up with it. It was three. Yeah, I thought I took four damage last turn. Mm. It was oh no, it was it was um three plus his let me see. His thing is a three plus two, so that would have been five, so have rounded down two. So you take total eight damage this turn. Which is I believe that's how much temporary hit points you have anyway, isn't it? 
He had seven. Seven. Okay, so you will need. To, so you have no more temporary hit points, and you take one uh, normal damage okay. to your actual health. Okay. So um, that ends the enemy turns. Um, Vishara's turn. Vishara is currently in the future. Um, uh, Neff, it is currently your turn. What about her weapon? Oh yes, your spiritual weapon. Vishara. Um. Well, if it's still here. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, gonna say that it's autonomous to an extent. It's gonna move, and um, it's gonna swack him. Swack a swack. Let me let me it, get. get uh, this, one. this one. Oh wait. Where did you summon again? Uh, Do I care? One sec. I'm not looking. I think it was beside the the uh the the shaman. She summoned it beside of him. Yeah, it appeared yep. next to him, and it follows okay. him over. Okay. And um, wow. Okay. Well, I rolled an eight. <laughs> eight. Is that like an eight, including modifiers? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that does miss. Yeah. Um, wow. so... That was a big wolf. Oof. It still only has two attacks. When is it going to get, like, a range attack? Oh. Um... Okay, so unfortunately, that hammer comes slamming down, but the shaman's able to leap out of the way just in time. And it is now... Um... Now it's Ness's turn. So you can roll <laughs> your... Roll your... Um, temporary hit points. Uh, another four. <laughs> awesome. Alright, um, I am going to see if I don't know if I can actually do that or not. Okay. Um, how how's the distance between uh, that goblin that's on the, the hay bale thing and, and Teach's character? Uh, that's ten feet. Okay, so I'm gonna use my my breath weapon since it's a line. I think I can do that. No, it says five by thirty. Is that like five foot by thirty foot, or or is that just like it, one square, it, thirty foot long? Yeah. Uh, yeah, one square. Five feet wide long. and thirty foot long. Yeah. Okay, so I wanna just kind of like. Can I sidestep so I'm aiming at the the two right there next to me? Um, yep. Without hitting Teach. <laughs> so it's, um, so let me just get the diagonals. The, the main danger here is actually hitting Leon. Oh, nope. This is fine. Okay. I want to use it then right there. <laughs> okay. That's pretty pretty good, actually. Um, cool. And then... Okay. It's, uh, it's a 2d6... And they have to make a DC 11 dexterity save or take half damage. Or to, to take so, half damage, rather. So this guy needs to roll 11. He's got... Let's, we'll do him first. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll the 2d6. 7 plus... Uh, is it a six. dex save? Yeah, a dex save. So it hits him for full damage. Alright, that's uh, 6 damage. 14. So he passes. This one gets 10 plus, that's 10 flat, so he fails. All right, so the two of them take six and the other one takes three, whichever one succeeded. So takes three. This one takes six, 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 six. Okay, and then this one takes six as well. Um, um, and this one takes three. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, and that's your turn, I believe? Yes. Not too many dice here. I need to figure out how to actually throw away the dice. Oh. I'm not sure, uh, to be honest, Leon. Oh, fair. 
Okay. It is now uh, Artin's turn. And don't forget to roll your d6. I rolled a four, so I believe seven. Seven, cool. Wait, seven does temporary that work hit points. With Vashara in the future. Yeah, because the I'm I'm gonna say that it just it's just there where she was. Um, that's fine. Okay. I'll be nice. I'll be nice, DM. <laughs> All right. So that's seven. Um, yeah. what would you like to do as well for your action? Mm, I want to try to hit the guy in front of me again. Okay. Reckless attack or a normal attack? I'll do normal. Okay. Rolled hit. Oof. Two plus five, seven. Oh my gosh. Um, two plus five, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, seven, unfortunately, does not hit. You f slam your great axe down, and the 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 character just he just kind of steps back, and he's able to he's able to evade it. I feel like I should just put my axe down and, and lay down on the ground for him. Yeah. Twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a reckless attack, that reckless attack, my dude. <laughs> um, okay, so it is. He, he still survived. Um, I should also mention that he's quite bloodied as well. Um, and I believe it is now Teach's turn. <clears throat> um, and make sure I'm to roll your temporary HP. Yeah, sure. And. Two. Two plus. Two plus. What was it? Is there anything else on it? Yeah, there's a uh, two plus something. Or what's what? It's a d6 plus what? What's the um? What's the modifier on your, on your Twilight Sanctuary? Um. Plus three, I mean, because plus three. it's my oh. level. Oh, okay. okay, so, so five. five. Five temporary. Five, five temporary. Um. I'm going to just <clears throat> use all my feats, which is Hidden Step. And that's just to get me out of harm's way. So this just essentially just makes me turn invisible. Okay. Until the next turn. Okay. So I'm just going to go behind um, either one of the allies there. If Here. I can. Okay. And for my action, I'm going to cast Bane on the front tree. The uh, enemies? Yep, enemies. What does Bane do? It essentially. Caps to the bless. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, that's your. Main action, do you have anything for bonus action? No, that was the bonus action, the invisibility. Oh, okay. oh yeah. yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, awesome. Um, must must make charisma saving throws. Um, whenever a target fails a saving throw, it makes an... When it fails a saving throw, it makes an attack roll. Uh, okay, so I got to roll charisma um, for all of them. So here's number one. Oh, where did that go? Ten. Oh, whoops. That was meant to be this guy. Well, he, he got uh, ten. What's your spell save DC? Spell save? Uh, let me check that. Sorry, just a lot of spells on my sheet. <laughs> no worries. That's the beauty of your class. It's just crap ton of spells. Spell save is 13. 13. Okay, so he fails. Um... Now that, oh wait, does he fail? He's a friggin... He should have high charisma. No, he doesn't have high charisma. He's a wisdom. Okay. Um, this dude, this orc boy, gonna roll. Oh, whoops. Well, well. Well, the first one is a 19. So he gets 19. So he passes. Um, this one fails. And this guy also, and the shaman also fails, actually. Okay, so. They... these So these two are cursed, this guy's not. 
the one the one that that would have um the one that's apparently impervious to all damage <laughs> all right so it is it now goes back it loops back around this guy and he is going to um okay all right cool so he's actually going to point to uh, the shaman and he's going to cast bless on the shaman so that should you know what? it'll be fun i'll roll two dice um i'll subtract one and add the other on the shaman um i'll just remember that okay um and that is going to be his turn okay it is now the shaman's turn uh shaman on the shaman's turn now it has been he's taken two turns so oh wait no not yet so first things first he is going to he'll take his turn and he'll double wacky wacky um artend with his with his big stick um ooh. Ooh. it's gonna be plus four so he's gonna first attack it's a 10 so um 10 plus 4 14 um i that fails so he tries That's to slam this team. yeah so he slams down tries to hit you but you're able to just deflect it with your shoulder and he's going to spin the staff around and try and hit you again oh wow that went flying and actually spins around and then ends up whacking into the um orc next to you because you're able to deflect it and it just slams into that orc's face um and it's gonna do um 1d10 damage there's two plus there's four damage to this orc um <laughs> which is more damage <laughs> all right uh so there's four damage um oh yeah he should be taking bane anyway so Bane and then Bless. The first one is a definite fail. This one is also a definite. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got a, I got a roll for the first one. So the first one. So this one is Bane. Two. So if this guy gets a three, then the first one also actually does hit you. Doesn't. Cool. Um. Okay. So so he hits this boy here for. What was it? What was the roll? Um. You said four. Four. Okay, cool. Four plus two, that's six damage. Uh, he's gonna hit this orc first. The four was after <laughs> the bonus. Alright, that's actually quite funny. Uh, okay, so the the staff... <laughs> so you're able to deflect the staff, the staff flies over, smacks the orc in the face, who is extremely bloodied and on the verge of death, and the orc that you were trying so hard to kill art just falls unconscious in front of you. Neff is laughing at me right now, really hard. Um, cool. That just happened. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. So that's his turn over. Then it's this guy's turn who's unconscious. Oh, no. His turn is over, which means that um, he then, this guy disappears. And in front of, uh, in front of you guys, Bashar appears with um, what originally was not a clone but it was him time travel time travel is what happened he is back and this is him presently um with bashar that is that is what has happened yay i return yay. um and it is now your turn bashar oh wow okay um well i'm next to the shaman it's time to hit shaman okay and by the way as far as you're concerned all you see is just everyone's kind of switched places, and the dude, this guy is behind Artin now, sort of. You can sort of see him. He's kind of hidden. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. All I know is the bad guy's next to me, so it's time to hit him. Okay. Do you want to hit with your spiritual weapon first, or? Um, I attacked with my warhammer. Okay. I failed miserably. Oof. So. Like one or. Uh. I got a six oh, yeah, total. That's fine. That's, so. that's cool. Technically, I rolled a two. That's fine. That's fine. 
I'm not one of those. There are some DMs that do critical like twos or something. I'm like, no, don't do that. Hey, so my spiritual weapon attacks and gets a 16. Okay, that hits. It does 11 damage. 11, nice. Okay. So. Oh yeah, this combines. Why did I separate the damage here? 13. Oh wait, no, that's his 11. Okay. Cool. Um, it the weapon comes down hard and slams down right on the head of the of the shaman, and he kind of staggers back. Um, all right, and it is now uh, the. Do you have anything else um, as well? No. Oh, also, action. don't forget your. Um, don't, action. Do you also get oh. the temporary HP? Yes, I do. Uh, so, you can roll that. so let and me while roll. Uh, Astrid's turn. Beep. I'm gonna go ahead and roll my temporary HP too. Actually, if you guys want, you can all roll your temporary HP. Because you all go like one after the other. Six. Oh, there it is. You... I lost my screen. There we go. Uh, did Kami need to do some kind of bonus action still? Nope. Kami's that was action yeah. and bonus okay. action. My right, mouse cool. is gone. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. It is now your move. It's your. It's your move. <laughs> All right. I so we've got what three bad guys left. Yes. Right. Um. <laughs> Uh, let me, I'm gonna just use my, my crossbow, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the one, uh, that's further away next to that table. This one, okay. Roll the hit. Uh, working on it, my mouse has literally disappeared, so, uh. Do you want me to roll? Uh, yeah, you'll probably have to, because I can't see where my mouse is. No worries. Here we go. Nine mm. plus... Two. Oh, you do have no decks. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, because that's attack so plus two, so nine. The arrow flies past his face and just embeds itself on the table behind. Oh! Uh. Alright, um... It is now... Oh, both your mice are dying. Um... <laughs> My pointer just completely disappeared. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, that's actually kind of weird. Is it just the pointer? Like, are you still able to interact with stuff? I can interact with stuff, but I can't see the pointer. That's really weird. Oh, I think. Okay. Is it back? <laughs> yeah, it came back. Oh, yeah, awesome. Uh, Arten, it is now your move. Your bitter rival has bit the dust. Oh, yeah. What would you like to do? Trust in the heart of the card. I draw. Um. <laughs> draw your last pathetic so card, Yugi. I want to go. Can I climb up onto the. Uh... Here? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I want to hit that guy. Alright. Roll to hit. What? Is it a reckless attack? I'm sorry, what was that? Are you going. Are you going to. Uh, if are you gonna use a reckless attack? Um, nah, I'm I'm scared of doing the reckless. I don't want to put myself in a bad situation. Eight plus five, so eight plus 13. five hits. Okay, and then be a. Let me check. I want to make sure. I think it's a D twelve, but I want to make sure. Very yeah. Nice. Yeah, D twelve plus three. I rolled a one. It's, I somehow apparently double tapped and rolled twice, but I rolled a one. One uh, plus or one plus three, so four. The modifier. And with that, is it three? Plus, yeah. I believe so. That'd be four then. So, 
uh, Artend lifts up his great axe and he comes slamming down on the creed, on the orc up here. And that is just enough because he'd already been hit by the... Um... Oh no, he hadn't. He healed himself, didn't he? Oh, no, he healed himself again. and then he got hit by my acid spray for six. Yeah. yeah. So he is now uh, also knocked down. Um, you just slam your axe straight into him and he flies straight off and he's back in the hail bale. Um, I awesome. scratched his back in one. <laughs> Unlike Mr. Uh, dude down here. <laughs> Alright. So, um, I believe that's your turn. Uh, it is now uh, Teach's turn. What would you like to do? Um, ooh, I could cast it, I suppose. Um, I'd like to cast Guiding Bolt on okay. the Shaman. Can you do that? Yes. So, Guiding okay. Bolt is... New character. Uh, so, nice. it's a fun flash of light that uh, streaks towards a character, or sorry, creature, your choice within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target. On hits, the target takes 4d6 radiant damage. Yo, and... that's a level 1 spell. Holy shit. I know. Yeah. And the advantage. Okay, that's pretty damn good. Okay, so um, roll to hit. Okay. Whoops, we're better. Uh, okay. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Oof. 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 Um, you see this bright bolt of light flash um <laughs> past um past the shaman's face. Oh well, and crash my thing potentially. Um, however, Oof. it misses and flies straight past him. Ah, oh, sad. sad. Uh, any bonus actions? Uh, other than the unicorn? Uh, no, that's it. Alright, awesome. Um, the character, dude. Alright, this is the really weird thing about this, um... The really weird thing about this, um, this guy's spells is that so he can do the ability which so his future self that he summons right can grab a person and bring them to the future right that's what he did with Bishara he can do that twice a day but he can only summon a clone once a day Oh, I guess it's if he misses his... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, never mind. I was gonna... Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, that's... Yeah, I was like, I've definitely read something wrong here. Anyway, okay. Um, So, it is now the Shaman's turn. And the Shaman uh, is going to uh, try to hit the Shara. And that is going to be a plus four weapon attack. Yo, this dude is a liability. <laughs> um, that's his second crit one. Um, so he's going oh. to attempt hit Bashar. Um, but Bashar kind of just... hes This guy's kind of panicking now. Bashar kind of just sidesteps. And he sort of trips. And he's like, sort of loses balance. Um, and he's now going to have disadvantage on his next attack. Because he has multi-attack. multi, multi -attack. Um, So we're going to roll these two. 11 and 19. Now he rolls high. Okay, so 11 and 19. Um, and that is... So 11 plus 4, 15. Does 15 hit? No. Nope. Okay, awesome. He brings his staff down, but it just clanks off Bishar's shield. Uh, it is now Acolyte dead. Him dead. Him alive. Uh, he is now actually out, out of javelins. He's going to walk towards Artend. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right. And he just goes, Avenge, brother. As he is going to attempt to oh, no. slam his staff down. Or his, his great axe down. Where did that go? 11 plus. Uh, 
These guys are actually pretty damn strong. They're only freaking damage rating a half. Um, 11 plus 5, 16. 16 hits, I assume. Uh, and then that's going to be a d12 plus 3. <laughs> 2 plus 3. You take 2 damage because you have resistance, uh, Leon. Which is your temporary hit point, so you take no damage. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. It is now uh, Vishara's turn. Okay. I am going to do the same thing I did before. Right. So, I swing my warhammer, and I get a 15. Nice. That hits. I do 9 damage. 9 damage. Nice. Yep. 9 plus... Um, he is bloodied. He is just about bloodied. Okay. I swing with my spiritual weapon. Hold it. Eleven. Eleven flap? Is that all? Uh, that's with bonuses. Okay, so he, um, he's able to oh. jump out of the way just barely as the, as the weapon just slams and hits the ground. So close. Stop yes, so running. <laughs> oh, and uh, really quick, I mm -hmm. need to use the bathroom. So I'll All be right, right back. No worries. No worries. <laughs> um, Vishara, or not Vishara, Astrid. <laughs> it is now your turn. Your move. All right. Um, I'm just going to. That is one right in front of me, right? It's kind of small. Well, sorry, as per, as per tradition. As per tradition, I need to make this. I need to make this um, announcement. This is my. This is my every time. Every time VTuber uh, on Twitch goes on announcement. <clears throat> I'll go to the bathroom. For anybody who is currently watching either um, of the streams that are ongoing, remember, if you have Twitch Prime and you have that free sub, make sure to support your favorite VTubers. Make Jeff Bezos with his own hard-earned money subscribe to any of our lovely players here. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Every I like that. Goes, I like great. that. <laughs> He's actually paying himself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. <laughs> technically is. Like, Jeff Bezos is officially subscribed to Iron Mouse like 400 times. <laughs> How does that make me feel? <laughs> All right. So, sorry. As you were saying, Astrid. <laughs> There, there is one right in front of me, right? Yep, the shaman. Okay. Um. See. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna shoot him with my crossbow. What blank range? Okay. A point blank range. Oh no, no, no! You can't. You, you get disadvantage if you. Oh, I can't. All right, then I'll, I'll just stab him with, with in the back with my dagger then. All right. So. Uh, That'll do. Hit. I was thinking of introducing flanking mechanics, but um, it's just it's just too, too much too much effort right now. What did you get? I'm just gonna cry. I love how like Nev's character is literally like <laughs> only cast spells. That's all you can do. But then when you're out of spells, it's like. Oh. Well, I'm not out of spells. I just I mean he's he's pretty damaged, so I didn't want to waste. That. Ah, well. I'm I, I still have two spells. Oh, okay. And a breath. Um, so. Unfortunately, <laughs> five probably doesn't missed. hit. <laughs> Wait, you have you have multiple breaths? Yeah, I think. Can't I do it twice a day? Or maybe it's once a day. I'm not sure. It gets higher level. level. Oh, yeah, right. It gets... Months. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So, um, welcome back, Kami. Welcome back, Kami. <laughs> you come back to me missing it epically with my dagger and stabbing this dude that's right in front of me. Um, that was that was pretty much what I heard. <laughs> when I get back. He is able to dodge. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Artin. <laughs> it is now your move. I'm gonna hit the guy. Yeah, me too, Teach. I feel terrible. <laughs> All right, awesome. Oh, I managed um, to hit like uh, one. <clears throat> okay. Yes. With advantage. Yeah. Hit Savvy Savvy. That's two D20s, right? Yep. And you take the highest one. I hit uh, one d20 instead of two. I'll That's roll fine. You another d20. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I roll a 10 and a 7. So plus 10 plus. Five, I believe. Yep, yeah. that hits. So roll your damage. That very much hits. Oh That'd my. Be a, a 10, but that's before mods. I believe it's plus 3. Yeah, so that's 13. Yeah. Um, yep. Man just one hit this orc. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Artin just lifts up his axe and just brings it straight down and just cleaves this dude's head clean off. He's dead. <laughs> Man just one hit this orc. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> All right, cool. It is now. Um, it is now. Uh, Teaching strength, unless you have any bonus action. Uh, no, no. I'll go with the cantrip to whip. Flying through the sky. One. <laughs> so no, sorry, I can't hear you. The my quality is a bit, a bit shite. Oh, uh, just use my cantrip to whip. Okay, cool. On. So, I'm guessing. The shaman. Yeah. All right. Um, thorn whip. Let me pull it up just so I have it. For future. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, okay, so melee spell attack. Oh, okay, so you have to actually walk up to him. Okay, that's weird. Why is a why is that a why is it like a long range? No, why is it a short range? It's, oh wait, no, it's not a short I think range. It's got reach. A range. It's a range of thirty feet, but it's a me oh yeah, because a whip is melee. It's not okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That that unfortunately does miss. Um, and once again, this dude is able to just jump over. I mean, that's technically you still out. doing something, it's like a though. Rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Collateral right. damage uh, or is still damage? No, I'm guessing no thingy. Uh, no. That's all I got. Oh, look, I can extend. Oh, wait, 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 no, wait, no, let's go. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> can, I, can I just bring, can I just bring my unicorn over and it's just like, I just approach the ground and start crying to send this like three times and then it just like, like rubs against me, you know, just, just kind of, kind of like, kind of kinky. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. It's, like, oh, right. it's okay. It's okay. Oh, all right. So, uh, with that, it is Shaman's turn. Thank you. Shaman is going oh, to uh, stabby stabby into. Uh, Just ignore that. Smart. That didn't happen. He's, he's smart enough to not go for the person clad in full armor. Ah! Um, so he's going to he's going to turn around and he's going to attempt to whack you with uh with his with with his staff. Um, but first he's going to roll. Okay. So the first D4 is his Bane. The second D4 is his Bless. Uh, Ikuzo. Oh, those exploded. Oh. <laughs> what is up with this guy? That's three, not one. Wow. All right. He is going to once again fumble, uh, and he's going to have disadvantage on his next multi-attack. Um, and then we'll do the same again. I got another one. Oh. Okay. Um, he just, he falls <laughs> over. He tries to swing at you. Um, he just step to the side. He kind of panics and he just trips and he is now knocked prone. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to look I'm down at him with this menacing look on, in my eyes because my face is covered up anyway. <laughs> okay. Cool. Nice. If he's prone. Yep. You uh, get advantage. Yep. So it's now gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> how does one get the, like how many? Crit That's four. That's four ones. <laughs> okay. Well, I got a twenty. It's a dirty twenty, but okay. it's still twenty. 20 nonetheless. Alright. Is that yeah, with advantage? Yeah, that's 3 damage. Yes, that was with advantage. Okay, so 3 damage. Cool. 
and a roll spiritual weapon again. Ah, uh, my spiritual weapon crit. Twenty. Yes. Let's go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> go on. Roll, roll that. Roll that damage twice. Not the best rolls, but it is five plus three, so eight. So that is. Hit him like a croquet ball with that weapon. <laughs> Silence. Did we lose Frey? Frey is both muted and deafened in Discord. When did I mute myself? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> How did I even mute myself? I wasn't. I was. I had my hand on my mouse. How did that even happen? Oh. Don't ask us. It's because I input the. So my my deafen button is number pad two. So, when I put the health in, all right. What I was saying was, ah, uh, it is now Asterino's turn. <laughs> All right. Lol. Magical phone. Magical phone. All right, I'm um, I'm going to try once again to hit him with the dagger. You have advantage. So, so I can, I roll it, twice. We'll make fun of you. Yeah. <laughs> roll twice. Yeah, burn. Uh, not 20. I'm not even going to roll again. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Oh. All right. Roll roll your 2d4s. Uh, you get double rolls. Okay. And then you add your modifier. So oh, you don't have modifiers. Three. Okay, it's three. three. Yeah. This dude is prone. Like, friggin' Arjun's about to come over and just end <laughs> this guy's whole career. Are you <laughs> for real? <laughs> He's gotta be really close. He is quite yeah. close. Um, so you got three and you got a one. That's four, um, and I will make sure to not use my number pads. Um, he is sort of close. Um, okay, Artin. In the uh, party! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, yeah, Artin, you can actually reach him if you want to just uh, bonk the crap out of this dude. Okay. Turn bonk. I'll do a oh! All right, you sure? You, you sure? don't need it. You, you don't need oh, it. Oh, you don't need it. Yeah, yeah. You can't get double advantage. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot so, to roll my temporary so, HP again. And then just, just a single D20. No, you still get two D20. Right. Okay. Because he's he's knocked down. Okay, I was kind of confused there. My bad. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, so I rolled a 19 and a 17. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, well, yep. Yeah, um, plus so five. You can... Yeah. So, uh, roll damage. Uh, base is an 8 plus 3, I believe. Yep. 8 plus 3 is... 11. Uh, 11. He is still not dead. He is in a lot of pain. He's breathing around. He's just like, ah! And he's trying to, it's like holding his gut. He's kind of in a small pool of blood. It's almost sad at this point. Um, Teach, it is now your, it's now your turn. <laughs> Can I heal him? Hmm? Can I heal him? You want to heal him? <laughs> no, okay. no, no, no. No, no, no. I'll, go ahead. I'll just do tournament again. Right. And you have advantage? Ooh, advantage time. I swear, if you miss this, if you miss this one. <laughs> like, what? We'll, uh, we'll ignore that one. we we'll ignore both of them. <laughs> oh no! So you lift up. You guys see him lift up his hand as this giant, like, giant vine of thorns flies up into the air as he slams down. And somehow, I don't even know what to describe this, misses the dude on the ground five feet away from him. <laughs> it, it's, it's warning shots. That's all it, it is. It's a warning shot. Dance, monkey, dance. 
Oh, uh, yeah. All right, perfect, perfect. Uh, it is now his turn, and he's gonna stand up, and he's going to turn and look at look at Teach, and he says, "You, this is all your fault, a witch." As he's going to attempt to whack you with his with his with his with his staff, um, and that's gonna be a. Don't get a one. <laughs> I mean, he didn't get, get a, a one. one. He didn't get a one. But that's still pretty bad. Okay, he misses. Um, so he, the the staff flies straight past you. He's very wounded. Uh, he's kind of dizzy. It just misses you totally. And <laughs> he got two ones, technically. Um, all right. So he has. So those canceled each other out. So it's 11. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, hmm? Go ahead. I'll wait. I believe it was nine, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. Uh, so that does it. And he's going to whack you with a total of 1d10 plus 2. 8 plus 2. He whacks you and you take 10 damage. Okay. Okay. I was just gonna say it, it looks kind of like we're circling around him and just stomping him. <laughs> this it really does. Yeah, it's actually that's so sad. It's actually <laughs> so sad. You're just kicking this dude's head in. This guy. Okay. It, it is now Vishara's turn. All right. Vishara goes. Sit down, and then she smacks him. Rolled here. She gets a 15. 15 hits. Roll damage. She does 4 damage. Uh, 4 damage. He is... So close. So okay. close. Well, spiritual weapon comes in. Yeah. Okay, come on. Come on. 19. That hits. Roll damage. There Eight. is. Alright. Vishara, how would you like to do this? <laughs> yeah. The big, glowing, spiritual hammer just smacks right down on top of his head and puts him in the dirt. Bless that big hammer. <laughs> gonna, gonna Go. big slam. Gonna put some and dirt in his eye. Man, man dead. <laughs> he's, he's not there. The, the hammer just pulls back and there's just a crater and just like this little pool of mush where the where the shaman was. And with that, um, da 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 da, <laughs> uh, you have successfully um, killed the spokesperson of the town. And as as you guys sort of recover, um, you see oh, a f no. you see several people in their houses <laughs> start opening their doors, holding what look like pitchforks. Oh no! Send a run! Send a run! Can we all just hop on this floating unicorn and fly away? Um, no. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so, um, at this point, you guys begin to dart it out of there. Um, and because Wait, I'm really? mean, I want all of you to roll a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> I mean, I still have my brain. Oh my god. 17. It almost landed on three and I to cry. It's like, I know. So. It's nice. Makes me okay. happy. First, Sorry? first I have a little story. Yep. So, I automatically, um, roll twice every time I roll. Um, I just ignore the second result, usually. Yep. But, here were my rolls. Nine. And twenty-two. Oof. Alright. Oof. Um, so you got nine. Yeah. Uh, can we just pick, can we just pick up Vishara and run with? I mean, it depends on how many of you succeed on this. It's a majority thing. I got five. Oh, oh wait, who got five? I did. Oh, I got okay. I got seven. Ah, uh, oh. uh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> no. What did you get? 
Uh, oh, uh, I got 17. 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you guys are running, you guys are running towards the thing. However, um, Vishara, uh, still a bit weak from the time travel, uh, trips and actually falls over. Big anime yeah. trip scene is Big about to happen. Oh, yikes. No, oh, yikes. No, no. <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> All right. And as Vishara trips over, uh, Teach slips and falls also. Uh, and as Teach is falling, he goes and try to, like, tries to like grab something solid, ends up grabbing Arthen, Artend, who also falls down. And Neff, who's like a few feet in front of them, just turns around like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Wait, do I, take, do I take damage when I fall as well? Uh, no. I oh, just well, got that would Thank be you, funny. I've only got like two hit points. Would you, would you like to take damage? That can be arranged. No. Remember, you're getting temporary hit points. So. Oh yeah, you are getting temporary hit points. That is true. It's definitely not been a minute. So, it's keep, it keeps going. <laughs> oh, this is the beauty. Look at this. This is the beauty of digital workspaces. I don't need to have all of these freeing figurines. I can just paste. Alright, guys. So, uh, you're about here. They're there now. Uh, you three pick yourself up. Um, so the way I'm doing it is just kind of movement or no movement. Because um, it's epic chasing. Wait, we need an epic chasing music. Let me yeah. pick you guys up. This is not epic chasing music. This is... Uh, Let's see. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Me and Neff should do a double breath attack. And kill all the I cannot. You can't. Only once a day, right? Yeah. You did it. I did. That's all right. I've got a. I can I can soil the ground in front of them. You can one. <laughs> I can soil the ground in front of them so they fall. You're gonna take your crap? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <that's> right. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, my can trip. I mean, I guess you can do it on command if you if you're talented <laughs> enough. You know what? Uh, there is something else we could do that wouldn't be so violent. It was thunder command. Um. Well, you guys are up and both of us have again. sleep? Oh, yeah, we do. We could have sleep. I mean, we could double sleep the crowd. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Okay, you could. Do that, uh, there is one thing I'd like to do. What? Oh, I'd no. Like to get, I need, no, no. See, I leveled up to level three, all right? Yeah. I chose the path of the bear. <laughs> okay. I need an item. So I would like to like look for a, a bear, a bear piece of a bear, bear rug, bear, bear rug or uh, coat made with bear fur. It doesn't matter. I can um, get you a bear, bear. Roll, um, hold this. Roll wisdom. I'm a barbarian. Ah! <laughs> oh, oof. this is more like. Do you remember where you saw it? I would. I don't even know if I saw it. But all right, I'm rolling. Ah, <laughs> no! God damn it! No! What did you? What did you? What did you have? What did you roll? One, and I already have <laughs> negative one on the <laughs> Man gets a zero. There's no saving that. Um, unfortunately, in this particular scenario, you are not able to find. You are unable to find a bear rug. You're unable to remember where you saw it. Um, okay, so are you guys going to cast Double Sleep? I mean, I think it'd be fun. Yeah. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, walk like 30 feet away from the group before I do that. 30 feet. I mean, you can cast it at, in, at range. Yeah, I, I'm walking away from the group for another reason. I was oh. hoping I could uh. go <laughs> and maybe find my totem. Um. That's... Oh, you, say, you say that, but you knocked out the Tavern Keep. And then yes. proceeded to Suspicious. kill their, their burning people. Five D eight. All right, let's go. Is this gonna let me roll D eights? This time. Yeah. Five D eight. Click it. Take their money. <laughs> See that time it worked. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. And I get yes. twenty two. 
22. Uh, first things first, Neff, we are rolling a... We are rolling a... 20. Roll that roll that d20. Okay, let's... Uh... No, I ain't afraid. Cool. cool. Um, <laughs> these boys all uh, fall asleep. And DM's plans are shattered. Alright, cool. Can I pickpocket them? You I mean... <laughs> you, there is a... I mean, you, you can if you want. Do you want to? Mm, would they have... Would yeah, would they wake up? <laughs> um, They won't wake up. A roll wisdom. Okay. A roll wisdom, I will do my uh, 18. 18. Uh, you realize there's a lot more than eight people living in this town. <laughs> These are just the main oh. people who have come out. I'm gonna suggest yeah. that we skedaddle, but let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> this is the cool yeah. DM being nice roll. <laughs> Do anyone have armor? Well, no. Oh, you're still like, naked, aren't you? Yeah. We could stop well, in this, um, Armory next to us, you know. Yeah, sure. yeah let's let's Actually, run through run through the armory it, okay? and just start grabbing yep. stuff. Let's just run through it and start grabbing I, I guess with our hands. Good. All right, that's fair. I will. So you guys start grabbing things and you make your way out of the out of the village. Um, we'll roll for it in. Oh my gosh, teaches freaking. Okay, there. Um, as you guys as you guys are running, <laughs> you see you see the guards and they're like, "Hey, what's what's up?" Where, where are you guys going in such a hurry? What's wrong? Did a witch is happen? attacking us. Oh One of gosh. the witches escaped. No, no deception. Deception. Yes. Because that is a blatant lie. Twelve. Twelve. What is their intelligence? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. There, there, there's, a, there's a witch. Let's go get him. Fear, fear not, you guys. The town guard is on their way. Let's go. Thank you so much. I yell over my shoulder as I don't stop walk. running. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make your way all the way out. And suddenly, suddenly in the distance you hear, a witch has put all these people to sleep in Lego City. No. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. And you guys make your way safely out of the grounds of village um i would like all of you all four of you to roll uh investigation uh, this is for your loopy loopy your leap nat oh, 20 <laughs> let's oh. go it's like the best thing to get a nat 20 on well i got a 14 14 oh, who got one <laughs> oh, Leah. Leah, no <laughs> dummy 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 oh dummy dummy <laughs> Alright, um, so the challenge rating was, uh, 0 to 4, it was not a horde. Roll loot. Okay, so, um, uh, Leon, uh, you <laughs> once again miss out on your chance of grabbing a bear rug, uh, but you do have, um, three, you were able to see some, uh, what do you call it? some old um you nabbed what was like a sacrificial kind of dagger it's very ornate it's worth a bit of money uh, you, so you're, you 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 find that but that's all you were able to really grab in the rush okay um, uh, okay let's um okay and uh, meanwhile Neff uh, you on the 20, so I'm going to go extremes. Uh, you were able to grab um, a potion uh, of mind reading. My, or no, yeah, it's a potion of mind reading. You're able to you're able to see it on the label. Okay. Um, and basically what it is, when you drink this, you gain the effect of detect thoughts. Uh, it's spell save DC 13. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, you're also able to find... Um, what's called a furious dagger um let me just double check i know if i remember uh, 
da, da, da. Okay, so basically, oh, well, damn. Uh, if you, uh, so yeah, you find a furious dagger, and mm -hmm. I will send you very quickly what furious means on thingy. Feel free to read that in your spare time. Um, okay. I will. It basically, it, it's basically s stronger. It's um, it's got an extra plus two uh, on on it. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, next, uh, you also find. Um. You also find uh, what what looks like a gem. Uh, it's a bright red gem. Uh, it was kind of on one of the tables you grabbed as you were running away. Okay. Cool. Um, oh, I forgot to mention as well. Uh, you were able to... Uh, Leon, I forgot. You also found one of those gems. Um, it seems to be... Uh, what was it called? So the one that Neff found was Onyx, uh, and the one that you found was a small piece of, um, what was it called? It's a small piece of quartz. Um, so that's what you find. Okay, cool. Um, and let's see. Roll. Uh, Peach, uh, you're actually able to nab um, because your belongings were actually in there. Um, so you're able to, like, nab a load of your rucksack, um, which may be your belongings. Um, so you've got your leather armor. Um, you've got your staff, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. Just you've, You have your starting set, which, is, which includes your starting gold. Um, you yeah. also find... Um, uh, you also find a piece of quartz, and you find uh, what is called, uh, you find a vial of, uh, you find a, a small vial of acid. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And finally, uh, Kami, you are able uh -huh. to find a... Um, you, you were able to pick up a very ornate, like, um, what looks like, uh, it almost looks like one of those, do you know the, the, the masks that you see in drama kind of thing, where one half is smiling and one half is sad? Yes. Um, you, you find one of those and it's very ornate and it's like lined, with, it's stitched with a silver thread. Um, so it's quite valuable and it's, however, there, there is one distinction on the front. There's like a black hand like painted on the front as if it was stamped on so this seems to be some sort of um some sort of ceremonial um mask it seems to be worth yeah. quite a bit and you With the find... name of the cult i can guess a little yeah um and you find a potion of healing as well and lastly um you are able to find a Oh, this is kind of funny. Um, so you find you find a warhammer uh, of um, what was it called? Uh, warhammer of illumination. So uh, once a day, um, you can cast light on that item. Kind of a bit underwhelming, but hey, I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm sure it'll come in handy. And then. So that's what you guys find on the, um, just individually. However, um, afterwards, this will be stuff you can kind of like, this is what you guys would have gotten anyway. Um, you guys find what is called a serolith of blasting, um, which is a serolith that allows you to cast, um, let me go. If someone wants to take this down, this party loot, so you can divide that amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um. So the Seer Little Blasting uh, allows you to cast Scorching Ray, um, and when you do it, you do so with an attack bonus of plus five, um, and it's you, you can use that once per day. 
Um, another thing you guys do find is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where, where is that? Um, where is that? Where is that one? Oh, yes. You find the famous, uh, you find a very specific, um, this is something that the shaman was using. It was the staff that he was using. Um, and you notice it has a strange button on it. Um, it's very ornate. It's very, it's silver. Um, it's like this silver ornate rod with, with a little button on it. Yeah. And you find that as well. And as well as that, you guys find about, uh, oh, you find this big fat, um, gem that the shaman was wearing around his neck, um, worth a lot of money. You'll need to get them appraised. You'll need to get the gems appraised to find the true cost. Um, and you guys also find a plus one, what does that say? Plus one war axe, which is pretty damn good. I, I'm surprised I decided to put this in there. That's really damn strong. Oh, well, it's there. I'll, I'll let you guys have it. Yep. That's really strong. Holy crap. Why is that there? <laughs> why is <laughs> Wait, yo, why is this here? Plus one. Plus one enchantment. Doesn't that cost like 3,000 gold to put on a weapon? Um. Expensive. Depends. There's no hard and fast rule. So. Yeah. Oh, well. The plus, plus one weapons okay. are considered common. Oh, they are? Really? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Well, there it is. Um, the... Yeah, you, find, you guys find plus one more X. Um, yes, because this is more of a town um, than a main dungeon. So I was trying to populate the last Anyway, um, cool. So, what you're saying is, we need to pillage more villages. No, that's not <laughs> what I'm saying at all. Uh, oh I mean, I was thinking about pillaging this one. They're literally burning people to death. They're well, criminals. I think we ended that. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know, we took out the, the leaders, but... But, but there's more loot? There's more loot in our village. We, we can get more. <laughs> <laughs> Bashara, <laughs> please. I, I do not think, I do not think my goddess would be happy about that. <laughs> um. By the way, are you guys going to do anything with the rod? Can I have it? The one with the butt. Are you going to like do anything with it? It depends. Which, which rod is it? It's There's two all rods you know is that it's bright silver and there's a button on it. I mean, I know of two rods. With buttons on them. Oh yeah. So, but but the one would be insane, because um. Yeah, that would be insane. Um. But, um, I don't know which it is. There's only one way to find out. I mean, <laughs> I'll hit the button. I'll hit the button. All right. Um, you hold it in the air, and you press the button. And at first, it doesn't feel like anything has happened <coughs> until you take your hand off it and it stays floating in the air. It's that one. That's the third one. I forgot oh, about the third one. It wasn't either of the two that you thought? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> you have found an immovable rod. A rod which can... Um, wait, who here has arcane knowledge? Actually, both of you do. Both Fishara and um, Astrid do. Uh, so can you both roll Arcana for me? I do too. Oh, you do too? Oh, yes, yes. You're a spellcaster. Yep. All of you rolled Arcana. Anyone roll over 12? I rolled an 8. That's a no. I rolled 19. <laughs> that is a yes. Alright. A, <laughs> a what? A tree. A tree. Okay, Fishara. You, um, ironically, 
are the only one who knows what this is. Uh, <coughs> um, sorry, it's the opposite of irony. Why is it irony? Because you're still, you're legit the only person who knows what it is. Anyway, um, so the immovable rod, uh, you're able to explain to them, can take eight, it will, when once the button's pressed, it is fixed in place, and can take 8,000 pounds of weight to move it. A creature must make a DC 30, 3 strength check. Um, moving the fixed rod up to 10 feet. Um, so it's, uh, it's useful. It's, it's useful. Gotta be creative, but it's useful. Mm. All right, guys. And with that, you guys sort of stand in a field far away from the city that you have left in utter ruin. Um, or it's not really a city, it's a village. Um, with a cloaked figure that you Same guys time. do not recognize. What would you guys like? And also, we'll probably, after you guys talk and stuff, um, we might end it. Because it's getting quite late. Um, I'm gonna turn to the the cloaked figure, and I'm gonna ask ask him, her. I don't know. Uh, if if the name Fordrin means anything to them, you recognize the name. It is it is the person. Um, yeah, you you recognize the name. You you recognize. You remember the store. You remember what happened. Maybe. Didn't we say it was like 10 years ago? Or, no, it was over 10 years ago. Over so, 10 years ago. I know. A while ago. Yeah. Like a long time ago. Um, you were exploring you were exploring a ruin. And they were your original mentor. And they were locked in a room and sort of pushed you out before they were um, locked in. And that's... So you re recognize the name. Peach. Yeah. Sorry. This uh, got there for that. No worries, no worries. Yeah, I can't, I can't really speak up that much here. Oh, no. All the power. Yeah, we got you. Hey, Pop. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Uh -huh. um, we could, if you want, if you guys want, we could end it here and, and pick up on this next time. The conversation and stuff. That's fine by yeah, me. Yeah, that's fine with me. Right, are, are we if, that'd be, if that'd be yeah. better. Because be, the big, like, there's more of a talking section in it. Yeah. Um, that way Teach can participate too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's fine. How are you guys good? Yep. That was a nice little, I wanted to give you guys a more like a nice little break you guys in, you know, break you guys in before we throw you back into that freaking dungeon. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Well, in that case, um, that brings us to the end of the session. You have successfully secured a potential new member to your party. Part of the prophecy. Ooh, I got loot. 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 And I got pie. You got pie. Oh, you still have the pie. Yeah, I still have one pie left. Magical weapons. <laughs> or not magical. Yeah, you got some magical weapons. You got some immovable rod. So more useful than you guys think. Um. And yeah, that brings us formally to the end of the session. Thank you guys so much for making the time. Yes, thank you. It was fun. Good to be back. <laughs> it is. It's good to be back. Good to be back. Um, Kami gets to enjoy the other half of Dungeons Dragons after DMing for so long. Actually, you have any other campaigns going besides Celestia? Um, at the moment, just Celestia. -y. Right, so you get the wow. so, so this is your only chance to play as a player, basically. Yeah. So, um, I do have two Celestia campaigns. Oh. So. Damn. The main one and a test one. Damn. So. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, cool! And you can bring yeah. And you were saying you were bring people over and stuff. Oh, that's actually really handy. Yeah. But yeah. So if anybody needs to go, feel free to. Um, I, um. I'm I'm down for staying, chilling for a bit, recapping, um, catching up. But um, if anyone needs to go, feel free to. Well, it's eight thirty. I should mm -hmm. actually make dinner. Oh <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Food is important. Food is important. I'm actually munching on a breakfast bar right now. <laughs> nice. All right, you guys. Thank you so much once again. Yes, thank um, you. Hopefully, this was fun. 
Oh, definitely. And it was. Finally, I will see you guys again um, on the next episode of still currently unnamed campaign. <laughs> we need to we need to name this campaign. <laughs> There's a lot of things. Dungeons and Dragons like... Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> Must never do. <laughs> <laughs> Have love fun. How, like, you take um, Bobby into your dinner. I still See love how it's See ya. Did they not think ahead? See you coming. Did they not think ahead? How it, it literally just spells balls. I'm like, was that done on purpose? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I, I've seen it in thought Dragon Balls. Like with the hard Z sound. Yeah, it's just Dragon Balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it, like, I mean, if it's intentional, fair play. But if it's not, that's quite funny. Yeah, I don't think it is. <laughs> oh. But to be fair, in a lot of other languages, uh, like mm -hmm. including the, the original Japanese language, they call it Dragon Ball Zeto. Ah. Uh, it's not okay. Z, it's... it's Okay. That, like that'd Zed. Be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is a sufficient. <laughs> that is sufficient explanation. All right, guys. Once again, thank you. Hopefully, it was good. You guys got to test out your new level three stuff. Actually, no. Leon still needs a bear cloak. I mean, there are bears in the wilderness. You can always hunt one. Yeah, I was yeah. About that. I recommend we do that. Like the next rest or whatever. Yeah. No, by all means. By all means. Bears aren't the biggest threat out there. You guys have fought freaking elder to beasts at this point. Fun fact, bear, bears are a very good way to accidentally kill your party at level 1, though. Because level 1 characters are really weak. <laughs> yeah. You sneeze at level 1 and they'll die. But alright, guys. <laughs> thank you once again. Yes, thank it. you. And also, welcome. Is Teach still here? Uh, teach, welcome to the campaign. Welcome, Teach. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. Talk to you. Yep. Later. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. It's good to be back streaming. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and end, uh, end it there. I've got a few things I still got to get ready for tomorrow's stream. Uh, and I'm going to be doing uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke, uh, Sword and Shield. Uh, probably will be on Sword. Uh... It'll be at 6.30 a.m. PST, 9.30 a.m. EST, 3.30 p.m. CET. So it's going to be a morning stream. And this one's going to be on YouTube also. So uh, make sure you check out my YouTube channel to, to catch that one. Um, and then after that, the next stream isn't going to be until Thursday. <laughs> You're fine, Noko. You're doing school stuff. That's probably a little more important right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'll be i'll be doing my very first nuzlocke tomorrow morning so hopefully hopefully it'll be fun i'm gonna try to do a lot of chat interaction stuff with it so look forward to that but you all have a lovely night and i will see you next time bye